welcome to another exciting episode of The Rock Goons. Where's Salim? Huh? Did you, you, you probably did you oh. close the window that had your OBS no. ninja? Oh, no, I apparently I hotkeyed something. That's weird. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Oh, You're oh, turned okay. off. There you go. Oh, I like, no, oh, it's just I no, I'm just done. <sighs> oh, there he goes again. Yeah, no, he's dead now. He's gone. Well, this is he's... unfortunate. But oh, of course, well, anyway, welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of the Rutgoons. I'm so glad everybody is back today. Thank you everyone for returning. Welcome everyone to the Twitch stream. Hope you're having a wonderful time. If you're listening to this on the road in like on the road at your job. Maybe you're just sitting around waiting for the airplane to show up, whatever you're doing, however you're listening, however you're watching. We greatly, greatly appreciate you in your time. But of course, we're going to have a fun adventure for you today, and I'm going to bring you everyone around the table, starting off with Minerva. Oh, that's me. Hello, everybody. My name is Minerva, a.k.a. Party Demon S. I am a uh, variety streamer over on, you on YouTube. I almost said YouTube. No, Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to YouTube. That's stinky. Uh, over on Twitch, and you can find me over on Twitter under the same name. Uh, yeah, I play Grey Crocus, the level 5 Null Ranger. Of course, next up, we have our ever ethereal Cabal. Hello, I am Cabal. I'm your local horror streamer, voice actor, artist. You can find me on uh, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, threads, Instagram, everywhere. Just Google me. Um, <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> You're at the point where you can just say Google me. <laughs> it's easier. It's convenient. Too many socials. Am and I am playing Talim Shabura, the ghost mages and local spirit of capitalism. Of course, next time we have our resident little guy, Froggy Lock. Good time zone, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. Uh, I just realized you could be listening to this not on the weekend. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful insert day here so far. <laughs> uh, I'm Froggy Lock. I am a professional artist and live 2D rigger and also a variety streamer here on Twitch. But you can find me on all sorts of other social media platforms under the exact same handle, Froggy Lock. And uh, today I will be playing Beetlezebub, the level five kobold investigator. Thank you so much. <laughs> you want to hear my oh, take again? <laughs> <laughs> There's someone with their AirPods in or something who just went, eh, eh, and just tossed them down. <laughs> Hey, I walk that person. person. The lake. <laughs> Beetle, why would you do this? <laughs> of course, we have our ever, ever stalwart, Salty Jub. That's me, everyone. It's me, Snotty Snob. You can follow me at Salty Jub on Twitter and on Twitch. I do funny art. You're gonna probably see some funny art from uh, me today on today's episode. Uh, and I uh, play Hart. He's a big lad with big hands, and he punches people big and small. And I just cracked open a cold one. Hey, yo! I I with the ask. boy. <laughs> I was about to be like, did someone just crack one while Salty was talking? What the frick? <laughs> <laughs> Grip it, it. <laughs> just like, the, the, and it's just like, it's time to goon. <laughs> <laughs> Gooning time. <laughs> of course, I am your host and game master for the evening. I am Zoran the Bear. You can also Google me. It's a lot easier that way. And and so I'm going to go ahead and take the recap away from everyone. And you will not be gaining one this time, just to save us a little bit of time. But you all remember Brug, right? <laughs> Brug yeah, in the Brug. past. Love Brug. You all have been preparing your carts. Uh, last episode, and you're trying to get all your materials, okay. maybe coordinating with Holek, the Elmas, Lauren, everybody else in there, uh, to basically go around and try to plan what materials are you bringing on your cart, how you're going to dress up your cart, all that other stuff. But you all decided you might need some security. A strange individual approached you on your cart, uh, offering to sell what you eventually found out to be uh, pretty much pig spider eggs. And so that might be bringing some things afoot over at the parade. Some things might be going wrong. So you decided to go and find Brug for security. Um, but definitely you guys might need to understand where he might be. You guys know that he lives in the Pond Palaster. 
but you also might be wondering, God, oh, where exactly? You know, he lives somewhere near the sinkhole and he rents an apartment somewhere near it. And from the place that he described after some conversations you may have had with him, you know, during downtime activities and stuff like that, you might have a good idea where it's at, but you might want to think about, you know, where with the Brug's affiliation with Crocs gang and um, pretty much like areas that he's describing to be lots of rubble, kind of rough and tumble type of area um, where he might be living. So who here would like to roll to try to figure out where he might be? Now, society could work out for this. Um, you can recall knowledge and stuff. Maybe you can call, recall knowledge for this. Maybe with a survival check. If you have anything about underground lore or anything, anything about criminal activity, uh, that will also be applicable here. Or if you want to be inventive with a roll, I'm up for it. Oh, I have underworld lore, so I'll use my um, knowledge of the, uh, <laughs> the 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 criminal elements of uh, the Pawn's Blaster to uh, make a roll for it. Awesome. Go ahead and make me a roll. Would anybody else like to give it a try? I have keen recollect. I have keen recollection because I am an investigator. Can I use this? Absolutely. <laughs> Yippee! Okay, you can roll okay. society for me if you like, or any other skill you think is applicable. Well, so. my under for my underworld lore, I rolled an eleven, and or no, I rolled a five with a plus eleven, so I got a sixteen on that. Hell yeah. I'm going to roll my society. Apparently, I get a modifier of plus whatever my level is. So it'll be this roll plus five. So that's a total of 17 plus five. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22. Awesome. Got a 16, 22. <laughs> Would Heart or Gray like to make a roll? Uh, I'd huh. like to try and uh, roll for survival using her memory to uh, kind of remember where uh, everything yeah, is on like, the map. Maybe got you, maybe got a smell somehow. Yeah, maybe you're like, oh, yeah, you, yeah. you smell like this region of it. Like, you maybe smell a lot like of- You smell like crap. <laughs> <laughs> you smell, in this particular smell of shit is the exact same of shit in this area of town. I know where you sleep. Insert tape ASMR. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a seven for a total of 16. What is happening? Excellent. Will, okay, okay. So ahead, I will also roll a survival based on the few notes on Brog about dirt on his shoes and similar things. Like, ah, oh, yeah, what level of the sinkhole do you live in, my buddy? Um, so let me roll a survival. I rolled the same number. <laughs> 16. <laughs> 16's for right. everyone. I think this is an omen. Yeah. I'm scared. This this is going to be. <laughs> we have so much in common. Oh my god. 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 We roll the same. We're practically besties. <laughs> we roll the same. Bestie. Um, what you guys will then uh just have going to do, or what I'm assuming so, you guys want to start looking looking for Brug, right? Yes. Yeah. The Brugster. We're going to wind up in the sinkhole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did we get dead. here? Why is everything bad? It's so dark. Oh. Two sessions later, when we come back up, Brug is standing there by the entrance <laughs> to the sinkhole. <laughs> As you guys begin to journey around near the sinkhole area, you, you start to kind of suss up mostly where you think he would be in with... Uh, the thing here uh with uh with beetles roll of a society you kind of like okay okay you, you know you and with talim's roll of a 16 and a 17 or yours of 22 i believe uh you're like okay well brugs still affiliated with the crocs gang so probably through those connections probably found an apartment complex here but normally gang activity wants you to monitor an area normally especially where you live so if you're that's where you're asleep you're still you're still taking stock of something really so you think of there's a couple like more run down apartments where you think there might be with the help of uh, gray and heart, you guys are able to kind of get an area that kind of helps out. But of course you haven't pinpointed where he might be. It's really hard to find one individual person in such a vast city, like the city of outset. So who would like to go around and start asking people? It's like, Hey, have you seen a guy named Brug? And, and how would you describe him to people and such? Who would like to initiate that and go around asking? Uh, off, uh, still on topic to that, but something different that I'd like Beetle to try is because I rolled for keen recollection. 
can he remember any previous conversations he had with Brug where maybe Brug was talking about, oh yeah, I repaired, you know, this fence with my neighbor or, oh, there was a big hole blasted in here, this house near mine, which might help narrow down the area. It's just like hmm. for small talk, you know, I don't know, oh, our, our plumbing busted in, in this area with this, that could help further narrow us down. Uh, with your investigator skills, I'll definitely give you, um, I'll give you two things. I'll give you two things. The one thing will be that you are aware that Brog does help people kind of get settled in this area. Um, okay. You know that the buildings are very run down, so Brog kind of helps, you know, kind of like get like tarps put up or like kind of put a blanket over a hole in the wall here and there, yeah. you know, like he helps mm -hmm. out with that. And you know that Brog is also like, he says like, yeah, they kind of wanted me there to keep an eye on something. I'm not quite sure what though, you know, okay. uh, but he's definitely there to keep an eye on, you know, folks snooping around a bit too much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can't you um, also use pursue a lead to get a plus one check on all investigation checks on Brug if he's your if he's your if he's my lead, yes. Yeah, if if he's your investigation. Yes. I think you're still investigating Crocs gang, so it does kind of work out. But those yeah. pieces of information really does help you out, but would anybody here like to ask around? How how else would you all like to try to help narrow down Brug in your own way. Gray is sniffing around specifically for Brug. Like, she knows what he smells like. As weird as that sounds, <laughs> she has a, <laughs> she's very good at sniffing things. She has a good sniffer. Every time you hug him. No! <laughs> <you say poo. laughs> I remember the smell. I'll put it in my camera. I hate log. this. I hate this. <laughs> I remember oh you, God. bro. You're all weird. So You're all weird. I hate this. <laughs> um, I'm going to fuck you guys. Can, uh, possibly go around the market areas, and if people aren't too put off by the fact that he is a ghost, uh, he can use diplomacy to possibly gather information. Absolutely. Uh, roll, um... I'll let you help set the scene, uh, Cabal. All right. I'll let you set the scene. You see, there's a variety of residents around in the area they're in. It's really run down. I'm talking big cobblestone has been already tops turned and dirt, yeah. dirt and gravel is kind of on the ground. Um, you see people like with like temporary tents and like taking ruins of buildings and just throwing whatever scraps of material they can to try to make it a home. Uh, we'd like to approach somebody and basically be like, hey, like, what's that like? like how, how do you approach someone? Uh, uh, if it's not a market setting, that makes it more difficult. Um, I mean, you uh, can look for a sort of like rundown market area where it's like, oh, I see these people yeah. trading here, you know, because uh, yeah. you'd like to roll me a perception, see if you can find one. Uh, you know, I you know, can. You can, you can always spend. You. Uh, oh, sorry, Sophie. You can always make a narrative declaration. Yeah, you got three. She but, said the uh, thing. I don't. I uh, I might be able to help you. Beetle will bring up. Hey, he's got a, a sick daughter, so maybe she's interacted or played with the other kids. If we could find a parent in this area, they might know Brugs. So if you see someone with children, we sh we should maybe ask them. I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, but it's just it, it's it's the it's like. Hey, he's got kids. Other people have kids. They must know each other. <laughs> That's... I grew up in a small hamlet! This is, a, this, a, is a, this is a... No, but... Urban it, center. No, no, no. This is an impoverished area. All the kids must play together and know I, each other. I, I, an impoverished area in a packed <laughs> urban center. All right, all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You can shot. You can shoot Beetle down. That's just his suggestion. I, I'm sorry. Like I grew, I grew up around like the, the the Metro Atlanta area, and like I'm just like, ain't nobody, ain't no way, everybody knows, knows everybody. Are, if he is involved in helping people with their houses and stuff, if he's involved in the community, that's my train of thought. <laughs> hey, no, you can always ahead. give it a sorry, try. I was, I was just trying to help. Go ahead. Um. So I rolled a uh, 26 um, to find the uh, like a market area or anything like that um, where there may be like even like 
uh some form of you know like trade going on like whether people are selling like wilted vegetables or you know like little trinkets or whatever yeah yeah uh do you also accept beetle's help to come with you or you want to take it alone yeah. beetle is more than welcome to come along if he decides like talim isn't going to try and stop him or anything like that does beetle beetle uh, follow talim uh, 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 not if So, not if Talib thinks that Beetle's idea is a bad idea, which it sounds like he does. I mean, like, Talib never expressed that or anything like that. Like, that was, that was, that was like, that was my you? thing. Yeah, yeah, that was just me. Like, Talib so hasn't said Talib anything about it. To it? Uh, he's just like, I've supposed, and he looks around, and he's like, that's a lot of, and he's like, that's a lot of children. If you could <laughs> ask, I <laughs> Maybe <laughs> he okay, seems yeah, doubt. He. he seems doubtful, but he's yeah. not going to shoot the idea down. Yeah, the veal goes with him. Little do you know, there's a kids next door organization in this city, and they <laughs> all yeah. know each other. Like a neighborhood watch. <laughs> I'm going to steal all of their fucking root beer. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're, I don't know if you know what we're talking about, Froggy. You know the show Kids Next Door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never mind. So. Basically, you, you you head up to a, sort of like this kind of market. Have you ever seen like um, more kind of impoverished settings where people just, just throw down like a piece of cloth and just kind of put whatever out there to try to grab everyone's attention? And right. you kind of go in where people are barting around. You know, there's not like a huge amount of people, but it's a it's a it's a crowd. And as you're going around, uh, you see one guy kind of snapping at you, going like, like, hey, 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 no, no one's going to sell anything to you. You're already dead. You don't really need any material possession, but I got something for you. Come, I got something you could possibly use. Come on, man. Come on, man. Just come right here. Right here. I got something for you. Just a couple copper will get you good. Come on. Just right here. <laughs> and I look over at the cloth that he's got on the ground. Like, what is he selling? Uh, what, what, it looks like what gems. It looks like gems, shiny, shiny, th uh, shiny uh, ornaments and stuff and everything else. Um, uh, just like bits of jewelry here and there all could kind of piled in in a bowl, like just random ornaments here and there. Do they have, like or do these, do these shiny rocks have numbers carved on them? <laughs> <laughs> or a narrative declaration they can. <laughs> No, that would be silly. <laughs> so he's like, "Come on, come on, come on, just come on by." Come on. He's just like, you, "You look like you look like you know you want something. You want something. You need a little bit more in your fingers. They only got a couple rings there. Come on, come on." Hey, fast talker. Hey, what do you mean by that? Hey, huh? You can't just go open up on my friend like that and be like, "Oh, you're you're dead. So you don't need anything else from anybody else." But we, I got these rocks. I got these freaking rocks right here. Hey, watch your tone, eh? Hey, hey, I'm complimenting the dead man, okay? Okay, like, not, not a lot of people, like my like my mama's gonna be able to come back to come put on some jewelry, but he can look fashionable. You know, he's got a second chance. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Okay, let, me, let me take a look at this story. Let me take a look at that. <laughs> to leave, like, just, like, let's, uh, let's Beetle handle it. Like, he kind of hov hovers there, like, with his, uh, hands tucked behind his back, just looking, you know, ghostly and, you know, imperious. And he's just like... <laughs> Like, come on, you're shop dressing yourself. Come on, like I got this piece. I got this piece right here. And he takes out this chain. Uh, he takes out this chain, and there's a large just rock <laughs> at the end of it. You know, it's just like a rock. It's and, not like a gem or anything. It's yeah, just it's a rock. It's just a rock. You know, and he kind of and he's like, like, see, it holds stuff. And he opens up the rocks, and it's like those like geo gemstone things inside or somebody closes it. It's like, see, come on, come on, come on, just uh, just five five copper, five copper for this one. Come on, man. He's like, he's like, you want to look good? You want to look good? Look at good as me? Look at good as you? No, we'll, we'll, we'll smash the parties out there in Queens. Come on, come on. And you just kind yeah, of like okay. push yeah, it okay. over. how much? Yeah, I like the geodes. How much? <laughs> he's like, five copper, five copper. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. I'm pull up five at, copper. At that point in time, like, Talim, like, leans over Beetle. It's like, perhaps a little bit of information in exchange as well. Oh, right, yeah. I like those geodes. Look at the funny shape of that one. Looks like a little point finger. It looks like it's going, hey, you, every time the necklace opens. I like that. <laughs> All right. He's got the merchandise. You're with him now, Talim, but like, how, how would you like to get information out of him? Um, 
I would like to use diplomacy to inquire if he um, knows somebody, uh, like describe Brunk to him and uh, ask if he is, uh, he knows somebody and perhaps where uh, that fits that description of where they might be. Okay, sure. Go ahead and roll me diplomacy. Yeah, it's not my strongest skill, but fingers crossed. <gasps> no! Uh, let me get the complication chart. It begins. It's gonna be one of those dreams. As he's doing this, he sees you closer, and and he's like, uh, 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 and he looks at you because he just sees the rotting bits of you and everything else a lot closer. He had bad eyesight. You're imagining, like, uh, uh, you know, and, and he looks over. Uh, is Gray and Hart uh, kind of nearby at all? Uh, Gray is doing her thing. She's just trying to get a lock on any kind of scent. Yeah, a heart is nearby. Okay, he, he looks over at you, Gray, who, who's sniffing around, and, and Hart's going like, uh, get away from me. And, like, you two, you two, I, hey, I got something nice for you. Oh, hey, hey, good, good shiny shoulder pad there. You know, got a nice, nice little design on it. Those bracers, you can brazz those bracers up. You know, we can get something more on your wrist, something more prettier. You know, a little, little something. You get just, you somebody to love oh, you. Oh, my friend. And as he's sweating, let me see if I can get the thing. My, the complication sheet, there it is. I look for something. Okay, so you failed diplomacy. I did. I can't believe it. Let's see. <laughs> okay, this might work out. Uh, I took this skill for nothing. <laughs> I I think this might work out. This is from Draconic Ballad, whose complication is called Vibe Check. Oh. <laughs> While interacting with a new NPC, the party must prompt this response at the discretion of the game master. The NPC will produce a thickly rolled joint of any color and proceed uh. to light the light and take a hit. The NPC will then offer the blood to all attending party members, PC and NPC. The recipients will have two options. Uh, they may make a diplomacy check or similar to excuse themselves from the offer or anything else. I'm just going to say we're going to change this a little bit. <laughs> we're change a little bit. Thanks, Draconic Ballad, for your complication. Um, and we're going we're to edit this a little bit to kind of fit the scene a little bit more. He kind of goes like, look, man, look, 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 look. I, I didn't mean to insult nobody. Okay. Like, just we've all been on edge here. You know, no, we're all just trying to make some money. We're trying to get some time. Look, let's, I got something to calm us down. I got something to calm us down. And you will see that he will take something out. And take something out, like a little pouch. He'll take like this little kind of like crystalline rock or so, and he'll kind of grind it up or so. He's gonna take his hand, go <laughs> or whatever, and he'll bring his hand at, out and offer it to all of you, going like, "Come on, come on, just, just it'll help us all calm down, and, and we can make all make some money, and I'll get happier here." What do you say? I'm calm, buddy. I, I, are you okay? Mm. <laughs> I like, just all... Don't we just roll the diplomacy thing? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You could roll a medicine to maybe see what the, if a, he has a problem. That's a total of 24. Oh, this guy's got a problem. I don't got to do a check for that. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I I will not imbibe. I have to look for someone right now, and I don't need my senses clouded. Okay, roll me okay. diplomacy. Oh, please. Oh, that's an 11 for total. Okay, okay. <laughs> Talim? Talim will, uh, like, put, like, a hand up and he's like, Unfortunately, due to my ethereal condition, I will have to politely decline. I was like, um, he will... Yeah, he will... He'll kind of go like, Okay. Okay. Roll me a diplomacy check. Oh, God. Here we go again. Another natural <gasps> <you> one. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> It was an omen. I'm never diplomatizing ever again. I, 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 I I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. Deception is your new best friend. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I'm a yurts. Let's see. <laughs> All right. I, Here's yeah. one from death itself. Hey, Jesus. 
from death yeah. it, from death itself thank you so much for your complication at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration so finally i uh, crave sweet release this complication is called motor mouth curse I, uh, a pc who fails a verbal check uh, becomes extremely motor mouth for some reason, be it by curse, poison, or extremely or extreme anxiety. For the next five minutes, they must talk fast to the point of not being able to be understood. Anyone they attempt to communicate with verbally must themselves make a DC 15 diplomacy check to understand. That would be deception. We're changing the deception. Um, because of how it'll, it might affect your role play and stuff, are you okay with this complication or should we alter it? I'm going to be completely honest. I am not okay with talking rapidly for like multiple okay, minutes. Okay, we will not use that one. I'll find another one. <laughs> it's a big ass that I asked someone to do yeah. that, so that's why I'm not going to do that. Maybe. That yeah. is that is not my skill. It's not my forte. I would <laughs> do it badly. It would okay. be bad for entertainment. This other one is a lot better. That will be a lot better for the situation. So sorry, Death is Up. Thank you so much for that complication. We'll change over to Acolyte of Pooksy. The target NPC is in scent, or what well, the thing is called. Well, I never. The target NPC is incensed by the player's poor choice of words. Said NPC becomes unfriendly and slaps the offending player for one bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Don't you have damage resistance to that? I have damage resistance to versus all things non magical. So the, the guy gets super offended that you're not, that you haven't purchased anything of his like only one type of cell came through that beetle was coming in for but he like he was trying to get you first and now you've spooked him and now people come up to him now he's nervous and he just gradually lashes out like hey, just, just, yeah and he tries to slap at you and just goes <laughs> through you heart holds out his hand i'll imbibe Unfortunately, all the dust is now in Talim's head. <laughs> oh no! All in five. Just grabs Talim, just like. Yeah. Here, just put your head in there. <laughs> yep. So, all of that, like, he seems kind of freaked out a little bit. He sits back down or so, and he's like, he's like look, 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 I'm sorry, okay? We've we, we been on, on edge, okay? Like, it's. Look, I'm sorry. You want to buy anything? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, listen. Uh, actually, this necklace. I, I, I want to buy it. Uh, I. We have a friend who's got a little girl who actually might like some of this. This is very stylish. You've got wonderful taste. Yeah, have you? Uh, do you know uh, a man by the name of a uh, uh, Brug? He's kind of a dirty fellow, big, stocky, uh, hardworking, does a lot for the community. You might have seen him. I think his daughter's a little sick right now. You might have talked about her. And Vito uh, you know, will just give a full rundown and ask. Did Vito you know, just describe Brug as dirty? <laughs> well, he's a little dirty. You know, he's a, he's a man, man. He's a working man. He's covered in dirt and dust and sweat. He's a sweaty, dusty. Greasy man. <laughs> and also, as Beetle is making this conversation as casually and calmly as possible, he is already taking out his wallet. Like, he's he's making it seem like he's going to buy something. Okay. Um, you see the guy kind of calm down a little bit. Roll me a diplomacy, if you don't mind. You got it. Oh, don't let it be a one. That is a total of 27. <gasps> That's awesome. He seems to... <laughs> that would be a critical success, and he basically calms down, and he's like, he's like, okay. Okay, he likes this, and he kind of exchanges... The exchange is about five copper, you know, for the yeah. for the necklace and stuff. And he goes, ah, yeah, just, uh, we know we know Brug. He he comes by here every so often, you know, just kind of getting stuff, little little things here and there, you know. And I think he lives somewhere. Uh, by the way, if you keep going down, you know, this way, go go a couple more ruins, you know, past the five tarps, you know, past the uh, uh, broken sewer pipes, kind of dumping all the toxic waste in uh, in over here, <laughs> past the pack, past the mutated lake. Uh, you're gonna find you, you'll oh. find uh, probably where Brug hangs out or whatever. It's a little cold to stay, but we probably pretty much called the rubble the rubble corner, a rubble town. So, cool. Oh, thank you, thank you. He's like like thank he'll you kindly. he'll nod. You can minus five uh, copper yeah. and you can add to your treasure geo necklace. Yes. And the as you have the geo necklace, you can hold one very tiny item in it because it has a little uh, oh. closing little oh. latch. Ah. Treasure, Geo Nexus. Well, thank you kindly, 
sure? As I heal nod and you guys can be on your way. So as you guys hmm. assume, uh, as you guys are heading on your way, Gray and Heart, as you hmm. guys are kind of moving in for, you're you're doing your very best to follow the directions. So I'd like to ask you guys to kind of make a roll for me, if you don't mind. I can help better fine tune Rog's location. Okay. As Absolutely. I, I go ahead and roll me either survival or perception on your way there. All right. Roll me All a right. survival. I'll roll the perception. So we can uh, cover both. Total I of 13. A I rolled a total of 14. Okay. Sorry, I'm writing stuff down all at the same time. Okay. So you guys have finally made your way over pretty much where you would identify as Trouble Town. Guys, transition over and there we go. Pretty much as you guys kind of make your way there, you notice that it's a bit run down. Tons of ruins, a lot of buildings have collapsed. Uh, you see boulder boulders is kind of strewn about everywhere. You see really just obviously run down places, tarps are put up everywhere, bits of cloth are kind of strewn about to kind of keep this place area along with a broken sewer pipe, just kind of flooding the area. You see one guy just drinking from it or whatever. Uh -huh. You see another resident fishing. And, uh, but what you see in front of you all is Brug. And he seems to be helping a guy kind of move some rubble away from a building uh, to the south of him. And you see him just hard at work. It's Brug! <laughs> what would you all like to do? <laughs> you see him kind of you see Brock kind of pop up and he's like he kind of like grabs his axe on the side a little bit goes, <laughs> he's a bit freaked out he goes hey hey it's you and he kind of and he waves you guys over hard Gray, waves. like Gray, Gray claps her hand on top of Beetle's head again she's like stop spooking the locals stop <laughs> and she she uh waves with the other hand <laughs> scare the last guy. <laughs> Just stop yelling. <laughs> stop hey, yelling. Brock, do you need help with that? It's just screaming across the way going, yeah, that'd be appreciated. And you see that he's been trying to move some rubbles and beams and stuff on the side of this one one house. You see a, a guy there, guy there, a bit kind of definitely worse for wear, wearing rags. So like, and he goes like, oh, thanks, Brock. I, uh, you know, I like, wouldn't be able to do this alone. I'm sorry to inconvenience you on your way home. He's like, oh, it's no problem. It's no problem. And uh, he's like, here, Hart, could you lift the other side of this, please? And you see it's like uh, the stone that's kind of like wrapped around like this like big, like, like, uh, like this piece of wood, basically, this, like a structural piece. He's like, just oh, yeah, just buddy. I'm great at lifting rocks. You know, in a fast, jerking, twisting motion, you can help lift, so you can do an athletics check for me. And try to help straight. out Brug. Hey, Soren, is this object more than eight bulk? Yes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 10 for a total of 24. Okay. You help out Brug. Like, it's a, it's a tiny bit of a struggle, but with you and Brug's brawn, you're able to move it off. Uh, you're going to kind of line it up to the side of the building, which could pretty much act yeah. as like a slightly more structure to it than how messed up it already is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with that, you guys drop it, uh, wipe off your hands and go, oh, thanks for that heart. I appreciate it. It's like, uh, what are you guys doing here? I'm surprised you, you know, found me here, honestly. And you see what bro will kind of pick up a sack or so that was left on the ground. Well, heart, heart holds out a signal whistle. And uh, and gives it to him. We want you to work with us. Like work? Yeah. It's like, oh, well, it kind of work. I mean, good thing you caught me in between. Around. He he looks over and he he looks at Talim, hoping for an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> so like Talim kind of uh, uh floats over and he's like. More security. 
um, we are going to be doing a cart venture of selling products during a parade. And you are a well-built individual, obviously experienced. You're obviously observant. Uh, we could use your skills. Uh, as you float over, one of the rest goes, <laughs> and, he, and he rushes off, <laughs> like into the shanty. <laughs> as a ghost, <laughs> well, he just like kind of like it like looks at the guy run off and just like follows him with like with the like the turn of his head. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably Brogan, used to that by now. Brogan yeah. put his uh, hands on his on his hips and look at you to him like, ah, don't worry, he's not used to dead people yet. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, but a uh, carvenger, huh? Is this uh? He's like, uh, what do you want me to do for it? Honestly, Secu just security. Ah, yeah. you want me to protect your cart? Yeah. Make sure nobody comes up with bags full of spiders, that sort of thing. Oh, he'll, he'll nod and he's like, all right, yeah, yeah, I could do that. Um, as much as I would love to do it for free and all, but I, no. I like to leave, like raises a hand, no. and, like turns his head to the side. He's like, no, 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 no. You're like, getting I, paid. <laughs> he's like, he nods, he nods and stuff and, uh, and he looks at y'all like, uh, I don't suppose you any, any of y'all have any uh, any of those little red vial things again. Um, I was on my way, but the only thing I was able to get was just a couple. Um, you know, and he kind of like, he opens up his bag and he shows like just a couple herbs and stuff. Or so he's like, I, I've never been good at them. The wife's been a lot better at making these things and I'm trying my best to make medicine. But, you know, I, I don't really got the stuff for it. I've got one. You can have one of mine. He's like he'll he'll nod and and take it, and uh, and he'll kind of look around and be like, ah, do any of you know kind of how to make this type of stuff? Like like this stuff mixed with that usually kind of helps her out a lot more, you know. Uh, Talib is really good with mixing things. I could craft a lesser tincture if that would help. That'd be great. Uh. He's like, he's like, uh, what, what, what do you need? What, what, what can I do to help make that happen? You know, it's like, it's like, I, I, I can, if you help me out with the medicine or so, I'll be more than happy the bodyguard for you. Um, uh, so he will actually, uh, he'll like reach into his robes and he'll pull out, um, a, a small booklet and, uh, a, like small transparent booklet and you cause everything on him is ghostly. And I'll kind of flip through it and um, he'll get to where he has the recipe for a uh, lesser potion of healing. And he'll start to like list off like some ingredients and everything like that. And uh, you know, it's it's about 12 gold to, to make one. And um, but, you know, if Brug already has like herbs and everything like that, uh, you know, he can. Uh, well, they'll see how much it. Uh, will cost to uh to to make another or to make one with you know the materials that are already there yeah um you know how limited and stuff i'm okay with it being like half cost or okay. so uh but sit well since you technically have the materials here it's just the action okay. of doing at this point for okay you. so if yeah. you if you believe you can like like crush it up real quick right then and there and you might have the tools to do so uh you can roll me a crafting check and just I kinda... actually not only have the tools with me, but I can use assurance to uh, nice basically um, uh, get a 23 on the uh, check. All right, go ahead and do the assurance. It pretty much guarantees that. And um, describe me how you whip it up and stuff. This is your this is your bit. How do you like so, put this thing up for him? So Talim will actually be like, Give me one moment and he'll actually like reach into uh, like the, the pack of like stuff that he carries around and he'll pull out um, what is basically a ghostly. Uh, oh, what is it? The thing that they use to crush things up. Mortar and pestle. Yeah, like yeah. mortar and pestle, um, a couple vials. And he'll be like, could you please hand me those herbs? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so hand the bag and over. And so uh, he will kind of like mage hand them over until he will focus on them until they turn, you know, like ghostly. You know, put them in his little uh, ghostly mortar and pedal, uh, pestle, uh, crush them up, um, and uh, basically pour the powder uh, into uh, the various files and use uh, like produce flame and stuff like that to heat it up, add a little bit of uh, water or uh, liquid um, until it starts to take on a kind of more crimson hue and uh, swirl it around, uh, mixing it until he's kind of like happy with it, like holds it up, like looks at it, you know, like through the light, you know, swirls it around a little bit more. And it's like, uh, and be like, it should be adequately mixed for the purpose. Good. After you've done so, you've done assurance no. for it. He'll he'll hold it up and in uh, beetle with your position or so. You see hope in his eyes. Oh. You see you see you see a bit of hope in his eyes, and he will go. It's like he, he kind of like he kind of a little bit, and then he'll he'll put he'll put it uh, in his pocket after you hand it to him and stuff. He's like, thanks. Uh, uh what, what, you like to meet her? Yeah. It's like me here coming. I was, I was just uh, delivering all this stuff and trying to get back here. I'm here. Come with me. And um, he will lead you all, if you guys like to follow him, uh, he'll lead it all to his home. He, as he kind of goes by the, the cul-de-sac and stuff here, uh, you'll see he'll start kind of waving to some of the people. The one guy who's fishing over there, he's like, he's like hey, turn. He's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You see, Can like, I narratively declare Ted to be a zombie? Just so it's ironic that that guy is afraid of dead people. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'll bring you down. Oh my god. Thank if, you. Ted the zombie is now a guy. For, for, uh, <laughs> for an apology, uh, the chat, like at the beginning, because our bit bars broke a little bit, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hero point and then which you will then use. Uh, to Thank it, and I will give Beetle one. Everyone else is full, unfortunately. I'll give Yippee. you one. There you go. Thank you. Because so, Chad contributed, and I had no way to gonna bring that back. So my bad. So with that, he just he turns around like, "Hey, Ted." He's like, "Good, good." He's like, "Hope you're doing well over there." And he, like, and he turns over, goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes, and it turns back, and <laughs> bring it up more of the line. Uh, another guy is like just stacking rocks. You know, it's it's like it's like like hey, tell a thing. Hope you're doing okay. <laughs> He's like, just all, just just making sure all this place is nice and clean. Just gotta. He kind of dusts off. He looks around. It. He's never gonna get his work done. <laughs> he is doomed. Oh, no. And he goes like, well, nothing else to do. <laughs> oh no. And oh my god. And you see it's that? A ne it's a never-ending battle. <laughs> yeah. Frog will come up to his home and he will open the door for you all. And he goes like, step inside. It was like, you know, trying to be Frog's a good host. House in the middle of the whole Frog's house. He's like, feel free to move your tokens aside if you'd like. Um, Whoop. You have to kind of hmm. angle it in there. As you yeah. enter inside Brock's house, the outside is compared to a lot of people's homes. This one seems to have walls like actual stone wall stacked up or so the roof itself very scraps of wood and things like this but you you can tell brug has tried his very best to make this as homely as possible inside yeah. are scraps of wood just on top of gravel and rock but when you all enter inside or kind of peek inside you see that as much as it looks like chaos or so it's organized chaos for the most part but what you've noticed is that there are, there's a bit of commotion that seems to have happened inside. Um, you see like a bit of the table, like what chair was knocked over and a bit of the bed and everything, like this pile of pillows that kind of like form like a circle area has been kind of disturbed. Um, furniture and pieces are broken and, and such. And as you guys come in and Brog looks inside, he kind of drops the bag and everything and go and looks around going, Alia? No. Hell yeah. And he, and he starts looking around frantically, just go looking left and right and everything else. And you see that Brug's just having an issue right now to where he's like, th 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 Thalia? And he starts just ripping boards. No. <laughs> just looking around, just going, Thalia! Oh. No! Uh, 
Beetle immediately sponges up every ounce of that panic himself and also turns around and starts like throwing smaller rocks and lifting more. <laughs> Would you like to roll a perception check? Yeah. And what, and what particularly are you trying to look for, Beetle? What, what are you investigating, basically? Uh, feet. Feet? Feet? Scratch marks? Finger marks <laughs> in the ground? Drag marks? Okay, okay. Uh, you got a 27. What is everyone else doing? I'll, I'll hold you for there. You're saying that Brog's just not having a good time. Um, Gray, Gray knows this panic very well. Uh, she's going to do everything she can to start pulling things around and like see if anything is hiding anywhere. If anything is anything she can notice. Okay. Okay. Uh, what would you like to do? Would they do a perception check to kind of check things out? Would you like to use survival to kind of look for tracks or anything or uh, like to... we'll use survival? Awesome. That's worked well so well, yeah. so well, so well, so far. That is a 19 for a total. Hey, of that's a really good roll. Uh, specifically, what are you looking for? I am looking for any kind of uh, clues of like an altercation, a, a struggle. See if anything went down. Okay. Okay. Uh, Art, what are you doing? There's a door here. There is. Hart is going to walk up to this door and he's going to open it and look out <laughs> through it. Absolutely. You can walk up and go ahead and open the door for me. Outside of this door, it's a bit of an odd shaped building overall. Yep. Um, it does have like windows and area, but it pretty much has like these like these wooden bars that you know Brog has put in to get in and out. Yeah. Uh, on the outside to the back, what you see are piles of rubble. You see that there is a sewer pipe, uh, with <laughs> with grates and stuff on, on it. Mm -hmm. uh, they kind of like like you know keep things going in and out of it. Uh, water is pouring through it. And it has a little wooden bridge. Uh, that kind of goes yep. off across the little waterway. Uh, it just seems like a shoveled backyard, really, with just refuse and things behind. Yeah, Soren. Yes. First, can I roll a perception or survival to uh, see what, like, if anyone is running far away from here, which path would be, like, the best one to run down? Absolutely. Uh, you can go ahead and grow my perception, or if you want to try to get a different type of result and challenge here, you can give me survival. Because you're looking I'll for roll, tracks and stuff. I'll roll a perception. I rolled a two for a total of 13. No, I am. <laughs> I'm just looking. Excellent. Okay. So that's going to be your roll there for 13. Talim, what are you doing? So the moment um, it seems like uh, the little girl isn't there and everybody else starts to uh, panic, uh, Talim sees Art go and look out the back, back door. Talim like, instantly whips around um, and he steps back out and he's basically doing the same thing that uh, Hart did, but in the opposite direction or to uh, see if like any of these neighbors, quote unquote, are looking nervous now that there's a ruckus coming from uh uh from Brug's house like if anybody's looking guilty yeah yeah uh roll me a perception check all right <laughs> fingers crossed all right that is a total of a 19. okay what well, you noticed to um is that as you were passing by through here you saw that there was a tent Sort of like even the top right of the bottom mat, you saw like there's somebody living in a tent kind of deal. Uh, yeah. You saw that there was like kind of like a wirely old man looking guy, like kind of looking by a little bit as he kind of sees your gaze coming up, goes, huh! <laughs> you know, and he kind of pops right back, you know, and kind of goes right back into his tent. Can float over to Ted and be like, hey, what up? And, and just suck out his brain power and know if, <laughs> if, 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 this, if, the, if the zombie has seen something and he goes like, yeah, I saw that guy over there. So, um... Dead people sticking together. <laughs> uh, Talim will pop back in and, uh, and he'll look over as, uh, as Brug is losing his mind and he'll just be like, Brug, what's the deal with the old man in the tent? God. <laughs> 
It's, it's, he's, he's a new resident. I, I, I haven't quite met him yet, but I was, I was told to at least keep an eye on him, but I haven't approached him yet. I, I just got here. <laughs> you know, he, he's still looking around, but to... Uh, that's what he'll respond with, but for everyone else's roles to give them their information. Uh, for you, Beetle, your role of a 27, you're looking around for any evidence of like struggle, all marks, yeah. things like that. Like people's hair, people's anything. And uh, as you're gonna come through, you notice that there was a slight struggle with something um, over where the broken table is in the knockdown chair. Um, but you see that it's basically like, you do see like bits of blood there. And, but you see no evidence of, well, see, you see like bits of boots and stuff like that over in that area. Mm -hmm. um, the weird thing you'll also notice that near Brug's bed and the pile of pillows is that you see fur in the bed, but also around in the pillows. Okay on the pillows in gray, you kind of find the same thing. Uh, the same thing as beetle, uh, you more, but, but for you, because of your snout and your, uh, your sniff and everything mm -hmm. else, uh, you go, <laughs> you start sniffing around and you smell something feline. Huh? It's like, like it's, it's smell, it's, it smells something like it's fur and things like right. that. And as you smell closer to like, like the pillows and so that make a circle, it's, it's more of a, like, you, 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 you recognize the smell. Rug, do you have a cat or anything like that? This is. Oh, why? Yeah. There's, only Thalia, what is there's only Thalia who lives here. What is this fur? Thalia. There's fur. Uh, he he looks at it and uh, and you see that it's uh, it's orange fur. Uh, it's orange fur, and he looks at it, he's like that. That's Thalia. That, that's where she sleeps. And he keeps looking around, and he keeps like looking up and above stuff. All right. Can I follow this scent? Absolutely. Um, now for you, let me get the hearts. Uh, more give heart mm -hmm. more information yeah. for for her for where you're seeing. You notice there's no trail. You notice no trail, no evidence of anything. The only thing kind of weird you would notice, like you notice when things settle, you know, when things have been moved for a little bit and in all the rubble and everything else, it's really hard to see what is new, <laughs> you know, because mm -hmm. of just how mismatched and noisy everything is. Um, yeah. Only thing you know is it's something kind of just off about this rubble, like something just too conveniently there. Uh, with that piece of rubble. Are you saying that Hart's uh, ADHD has started to kick in and he's starting to hyper-focus on rubble? Oh, wait, it's rubble. Hey, Soren. Yes. Since Since everything has settled, uh, Hart turns around to look back when when Talim comes in and starts talking to Brug. Uh, he sort of meets with Talim's face and nods and takes one step outside, closes the funny door. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, he only assumes that uh, Talim knows what he's about to do next. Kaleem, do you know what Hart's about to do next? I assume either he's going to check something out or it's going to be extreme violence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he's going to walk over to the tent where the weird guy is. Okay. Uh, I'll have you do that. Talim, um, just to kind of morph this together, because I think we're going to split into two different groups here in a bit. Yeah. Talim, um, you, you hear what Brock said, right? And yeah. Uh, what would you like to do in response? Um, so while uh, Beetle and uh, Gray are conversing with Brug, uh, Tlim will, you know, like he's standing, he's floating in the doorway. He's like, I'm going to go ask some questions to see if anyone has seen anything. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, right. yeah, Tlim will just be like, uh, he'll, you know, 
gently close the door and uh he will also start to head towards the tent but on the opposite side of the water excellent okay so you two i'm gonna say you two can kind of move yourself closer to the tent and stuff um mm -hmm. i'm gonna now kind of shift focus back to beetle and gray for a little bit heck yeah um, Gray, as you're, as you're snoofing around a little bit with your roll, I'm not going to ask you to re-roll again because your 20 was a critical success. Um, as you're going along the trail of things and Beetle, uh, with your roll, you did a really good roll. Um, you'll also kind of be following along with Gray's trail as well. You're going to kind of come into the same conclusions here. Uh, you mostly more Beetle because what Gray finds is like, there's like a bowl of stuff. It has like some like your liquid in it or so that you can't notice within the light and everything. And you notice that it's a, you notice that there is like under the, some of the floorboards that frog was ripping up. Uh, you notice that there's a brush that has orange hair in it, but you know that dust has settled on it and all that a while ago. Yeah. And you both will notice that on the little table that he has, or like food and just a bunch of stuff is there. Uh, and all there on the other table is stuff knocked down. You know, it's a bowl, and you both can tell that had milk in it. Okay. Huh. Are you sure you don't have a cat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beetle will hold up the hairbrush. And is the orange hair the same as the fur, or is it like long orange hair? It's it's slightly longer orange hair. Okay. Uh, he will approach Rug with the brush and hold it up. Is is this yours? Is this your daughter's? You see, Brog will freeze for a moment. He'll kind of kind of take it from you. He's like, no, that was that was that was my oh. wife's. Sorry. This was this business. Uh, mm. Okay, well, don't worry. We're gonna help you with this, and we're going to find her. This is this ordinary. This bowl of the bowl of milk. Beetle gestures to it. Did, would she have drank this or offered it to someone? No, uh, that's uh, that's where uh, that's normally where uh, Athalia's bowl. Normally where she uh, drank her breakfast. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Is the bowl of milk full, or does it look like it seems it have been got in the spilled over? It? Okay, it got spilled over. Um, Beetle will look at Gray. Are you able to? Uh, feels a little intrusive asking, but could you put this hair in your nose and smell it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been smelling this entire time. I'm pretty sure we could follow the path. Yeah. She'll, she'll take in, she'll, any, she'll just give a. <laughs> <laughs> give a good all. <laughs> you know, just get all up in there. A big, a big old shift snarf. <laughs> no uh, one has any reason to do anything to her, right? He looks at Brug. No one has any reason to uh, Brug, do anything. Brug shakes his head is like, unless there's a noble who remembers my face or someone's got a vendetta, I, I don't really know okay. <laughs> you know like i don't remember vishna having any enemies either and probably is too it. small for this <laughs> you no, know that's good that's a great answer that's a great response you're doing great you're you're doing great we're gonna find her everything's good <laughs> everything's fine hey everything okay uh great go ahead and roll me a perception check or sure. uh if you want to recall knowledge a nature check i'm gonna use oh god where to go perception Perception. perception. That's a seventeen for a total of twenty-six. Yeah, it's your, it's thing. You, it's definitely feline in nature. So you don't have quite the information from perception check, and nature probably would have got you a little bit more uh, context of it. But because of your high roll of a perception, um, you know this is definitely from like the from the brush and everything. It's old. It hasn't been messed with in a while. The hairs of obviously, you know. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it's from a cat folk, um, mm -hmm. like someone who, who's a, a cat folk origin. So you imagine, you know, from that point. Hmm. I don't mean to be, I don't want to pry or be rude, but your wife, 
She wasn't human, was she? The obvious answer is no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he kind of he's like, no, she was. Uh, they, I've I've never seen anyone like her, or so here in South Sense, but I'm sure they're somewhere else inside the city. Like she, she came from far away from trade caravans from a world yonder, but when she arrived here, they called her a Vishnu. I mean, we assume to take that name. So from there, uh, you know, it's. And she brought her child with her, and I, you know, we married, and I offered to help take care of her. All right. Grade's gonna try and follow the sniff snorf scent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Peter will follow Gray. As you guys are sniff snoring and stuff, we're now gonna yeah. transition over to Hart and Talim, who are approaching the tent. So you two are approaching. I assume you guys, you, you two see each other going like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, <laughs> it's like, are you <laughs> like, go get them. <laughs> you do, you do uh, communicate with each other in any way or are you both just relying on each other? Funny nod. <laughs> <laughs> and Tilly will basically, you know, I like, do like a, like a subdued hand motion of like, you know, like go around the back and uh, yeah. Tilly is floating towards the, the front of the tent. Art. Um, Roll man perception. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, as Hart appears around the corner, you have. I rolled an eight for a total of nineteen. You vaguely got an idea, but Talim just hand signaled. <laughs> he, he he signs very obviously. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> just like the big okay. <laughs> 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 oh okay, uh, feel free to approach the tent. Art will stand here. He will uh, float over here and act like he's looking around. Um, before he turns around and looks directly uh, at the tent and starts to uh, starts to float towards it cautiously. Okay, you approach the tent. Uh, so do I, do I just see like Hart just yeah. towering over the other side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hart gave, yeah. gives Talim an okay sign. What's, what <laughs> you're seeing in this area to help describe the scene for you and, and podcast listeners, thanks, by the way. Wink, wink, walk, walk. That um, you see, you see like rubbled walls. Like this used to be a house, or so you see some of the groundwork, but it has been torn away, destroyed. Something has happened here to make this house just explode. And you see the person here set up a kind of residency with a very kind of cheap, torn down tent. You notice, uh, without just being rolled by passive perception, that this is a kind of run down, as if somebody threw this away. Tyrant Guild tent somebody has repurposed and you see just you know rubble planks all the other stuff you know very rundown area and uh you see that the flap and everything is you know obviously not open you see little bits of string that would kind of help close it or keep it together uh so to leave it, <laughs> he's like so unfortunate that a resident is reduced to such it's like to not have any walls around. I bet someone could see a lot of things that are happening. And like he kind of floats to the uh he floats to the front of the tent and he leans closer to the flap of the tent and he's like Dear resident, you wouldn't have seen anything, would you? You hear silence. I can grill, dude. His cover's blown. He's out. (laughs) Jesus. Oh, I thought of something real dark. It's so (laughs) fucked up that, like, as soon as Talib approaches the ten, you hear a little. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh god, I'm going to hell. Don't worry about it. Anyway. (laughs) Uh. 
so um when Talim uh doesn't get a response um does he give no, a signal it, no, he doesn't give a signal yet but he'll stand up straight um and he'll be like you know part of being a ghost is you can very much tell when someone is guilty of something I would prefer not to give in to my more deadly nature please if you have seen something I would like if you would share it are you trying to you like to Intimi in yeah, intimidate, intimidate? Just, yeah. just a little bit go ahead and roll me intimidation Oh, I'm not good at intimidation. <laughs> Art, would you like to assist? Yes. Art grabs the table right. and starts I... shaking it. <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. All right. Um, <laughs> there's a star. There's a star. <laughs> I was going to say, is there, is there a way that I add on? Um, you roll, and system? then Heart will do a thing. Okay. And then I, I, yep. I mentally have it here, so don't worry. Oh, fingers crossed. I'm going to use a hero point to re-roll uh, that. You roll the six. Nice. Let's see if we can do better. Yeah. Uh, Clench. Do, Just roll right, it click. again if you don't know, if you don't remember. Uh, nice! It's a net, it's a net oh country, baby. Go! Let's go! So it is a crit success, but depending Ooh. on how badly Hart rolls, it could go away. So oh Hart, oh, how would you like on. to assist? Okay, so when he says that, his more deadly nature, uh, Hart sees that, ah, the sign, uh, and heart uh, towards this nearby wall right here, uh, heart wants to just break down this wall. Just uh, punch outwards. it, just Yeah, outwards. <laughs> so there's a bunch of rubble and whatever is flying, uh, and a lot of sound, a lot of uh, whatever nearby. Ooh, scary. Okay, uh, okay. Roll me uh, athletics. Athletics. All bonuses you would like as well. I wanted, I wanted to roll intimidation, but it's so good. I rolled a twenty-six. That is so good. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's gonna crap his pants. With that, <laughs> you see. Uh, do you guys remember uh, that old man you guys met at the checkpoint? You guys remember yeah. what happened to him? Wait. Ah, uh, that guy. Yeah. The, I'm gonna I'm gonna write this note guy. Mm -hmm. That guy. The, the rich guy. The inve the the <laughs> the guy whose job it was to come by that day and see if everything was running well. That yeah. guy. The rich my guy. God. Mm -hmm. He pops out. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> just don't don't do anything. Oh, no, just look. He looks worse for wear. Last time you encountered him, it was at the checkpoint. So you guys roughed him up pretty good. <laughs> Baldrick did a quite a number on this guy as well. Really messed him up. But of course, uh, survived his encounter from you all. And uh, you imagine he's one of the reasons that uh, caused you some more mischief and stuff. But of course, you come back and he is like any finery he had is ripped up and everything else he's wearing bits of rags just trying to like keep whatever nice coat that he had on before his ring portion all the gems have been ripped out of it or so his hair is dirty and he's got smudges everywhere you see Greer Von Dwell in front of you kind of come popping out from the tent and goes like I don't want any more involvement with you <laughs> <laughs> you know, he coughs in a snobby way. So Thaleem kind of like tilts his head. Uh, it's like any more involvement with you. And he'll look at Hart and he's like, do you know him? I didn't know this guy in my entire life. Never seen him. Hey, it's Master Thaleem. Smiles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so he'll, um, Thaleem will like, uh, basically hover as high as he can just so we can look down on this guy and be like i think at this point you don't really have a choice he looks at you to and 
you see he's trying to keep his composure, but he's seeing a dead man in front of him. A, a haunting ghost or so. And he's like, what, what, what do you want? What do you I want? want what all merchants want. Information. And he'll, um, bring a, uh, he'll bring a finger uh, close to the man's face, but not touch him. It's like, you seem like the type who is very observant. Am I correct? Oh yeah, you look like a smart guy. Heart starts like just putting back the wall uh, that, he, <laughs> that, he, that he broke down. Uh, <laughs> it knows construction. <laughs> <laughs> I can build walls. <laughs> Probably a crafting check, Heart. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I rolled an 11 for a total of 18. I mean, it's not as good as it was before, but you know, you're making a wall. <laughs> oh, oh my God. So, uh, this, this guy's shivering. He, he shook. He's having a bad time with you, Talim, and knowing heart is there, knowing what heart did in the past. But of course, Talim, you have no context. You weren't there. You know, you were long gone. So, but so this guy's a bit of a stranger to you. Uh, he's like, what, what do you want to know? <laughs> I would like to know if there have been any individuals around our associates dwelling, particularly ones that may have left with a little girl. <laughs> you know what happens when people talk, you know? <laughs> Uh, when he says that, the, uh, the hand that is near his face, Talim will, like, lift his hand up and is like, yes, but I also know what happens when they don't. And he will flick his wrist up, and, um, from one of his gauntlets, a blade will pop out from underneath it at the tip of the man's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me intimidation. Me. Can I, can I help? Absolutely. <laughs> can, can we can we turn in this into a coercion? Absolutely. Nice. Poor this, guy. That was a like 19. <laughs> I rolled a 7 for a total of 15. Excellent. So as you do, it's like, no! Fine, fine, fine. I'll tell you I know. Just just put that away. And Talim will uh will flick his wrist back and the blade will retract. He's like <laughs> I do enjoy cooperation. Uh, oh yeah, you should listen. You should listen to that guy. Uh, Hart says as he breaks a rock in two to like <laughs> fit around the corner. <laughs> He's still just building the wall. <laughs> Hart just yeah, over yeah. there. It's like, look, Talim, I made rock dust. <laughs> <laughs> Starts eating the rock to prove a point. <laughs> oh my God. So. This could be your bow. <laughs> so basically what well to, to save my throat uh he yeah. will explain uh that he saw a uh this haunting type of figure not ethereal solid but this figure kind of entered the house but there was like a resident who attempted to stop this this person and met with a terrible fate and the resident went into Brog's home and exited out and went through any points through the sewer pipe. Which is like, it's impossible. The, but it's been barred off the entire time. <laughs> you sound that hard. You notice that he sounds a lot worse for wear. Possibly have caught something. Good thing you're not in front or else you'd catch a disease super easy. But, uh, you know, sounding much worse for wear. So he just like described the figure as like intimidating. There was no like um a pretty big no the distinctness of wait a second. Uh Talim will specifically ask, uh it's like this large individual, you didn't happen to see a or well, the hint of a tail, did you? It didn't have a tail <clears throat> and a long snout. I see. Oh, oh no. 
Thank you very much for your cooperation. I hope you recover from whatever it seems that has come upon you. And uh, Talim will actually uh, will take a silver piece out of his bag and uh, flip it to the guy. And he'll look up at Hart and it's like, I think we know who has her. We should return to Brug. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big time. That you is... look a little bit worse for wear there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> good luck with that. As he coughs. And, uh, like, yeah, yeah tell him, oh, oh, uh, leave me alone. <laughs> you got what you want. I'm nothing <laughs> now because of you and your sniveling weird dog, too. And he goes back <laughs> in his tent. His, his accent has completely devolved. <laughs> <laughs> when, when Hart and, Mali and Talim meets up again, he goes, Do you know that guy? Uh, wait, uh, I think it was like the man in the tent, the destitute one. It's funny mostly yeah. to you, Hart, when he was mentioning that. Yeah, yeah, no, Hart knows that. Uh, <laughs> Tlim is like, I've never met him in all of my own life. Ah. Perhaps from when I was alive. Yay. More than likely not. Uh, almost killed that guy. Uh, I don't know who he is, actually. Uh, beyond... <laughs> What, what he did and all of that, but you know, almost killed them. It didn't do it though. <laughs> As you guys are coming back, we're gonna switch back to the scene with Beetle and Gray. You guys could feel free to enter in at any point. Um, but for Beetle and Gray, as you guys have been discussing with Brogger, so are you looking for any more clues, any more context of things? You wanna ask Brog any more questions? I don't want to speak for Gray, but I believe Beetle and Gray were both going to try and follow the scent. So maybe. Yeah. As oh, my bad. Door, Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, maybe as they're opening the door to go out, then it's like, oh, oh and they bump in with. Their <laughs> yeah. Bodies. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, you guys are getting ready to leave the door, leave the door to the north, because that's where you're hearing this, uh, this bit of scent. Gray, um, along with the scent you're kind of going with, and Beetle, if you're attempting the. <laughs> The entire time, um, uh, you do smell something a bit off, mm. you know, as you're going gray, something a bit just not quite together. I mean, you wouldn't say rotting, but not quite rank is probably what I would something say. like spoiled, but not yeah. entirely like it's on the way. Yeah. Ugh. Something doesn't smell right. I this place is ripe with a plethora of scents, but this is wrong. It's Brug. off. Bruggle. Uh, look at you too. It's like, if, if you don't mind, could you please take a look for her? She's about yay high, you know, and he starts describing course, to you a cat. <laughs> he describes you a, like an orange cat, still like, still like, like a teenage cat, like, like a kitten that's, you know, mm -hmm. on its way to growing up a little bit. Like orange fur, white stripes, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Very adorable. Well, we'll have a collar around her neck with a, uh, and you'll you'll identify her with a very uh, like shiny kind of round gem uh, kind of on. It's usually it's usually dull, but of course, like you said, like this is that it will protect her or so. Gray will put her hand on Rug's shoulder, just like just bump. We'll find her. I promise. He he nods, and uh, you're like, oh, I'll, I'll check with the others and, and, and see what they know and see if they maybe have seen her or else doing stuff. Uh, mm. we, we, splitting up might might be best for us. And you'll see Brug will begin the exit. And if uh, Talim and Hart by this time, you guys are probably reached back at the house at this time. At this time, because Brug is getting ready to go ask the other people. Mm. So, um, like, the those heart, or not heart, um, does, like, Brug go to, like, exit first, or... Uh, you, you guys enter inside first, and, and Brug will oh, fill okay. you in. All right, so, um, yeah, heart, heart can, uh, Plim will let Hart go in first, because, you know, like, Hart is very large, and occupies a lot of the, um... <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot a lot of area yeah. <laughs> are all a lot of real estate yeah so um after heart exits uh enters uh Talim will float in and he'll look at everyone um and he'll be like i believe that Brug's employer has paid a visit. What? And he'll look at uh he'll look at Brug and he's like uh We think Croc has your girl. You see him open his eyes fairly wide or so and he's like that does it make sense? Like For what I, reason? I'll tell to smooth things over with him, like they did there should be no reason for all those jobs. And, and and you see him just trying to rack his head over the idea of why Croc would do something like this. Let's not waste time. We let's we should get there. We should get going. We should go find him. Uh, we've got also, the scent. Yeah, we've got the scent. And uh, if we, you can track him, we could track her. Hmm. Gray from what like we know, like a, a tuft of fur. <laughs> from what we know, it seems that he exited through the sewer pipe. The Do you pipe? know where he could be going, bro? It's like he he shakes his head. It's like even I haven't even been in there. That is already graded off. So I can't imagine what's gone through it. I don't even think Croc could get through those How? bars. How? Let's take a look at the pipe. Maybe there's a way to unhinge them like a gate or something let's let's go take a look and yeah. Vito will trudge off I walked into the wall <laughs> <laughs> the <gun. laughs> it's the wall again doors again, the work. every time every time Grace gonna follow but just not not through the wall <laughs> yeah. I'm a ghost I float through the wall because of anime powers uh <laughs> Frog will say in case this is a wild goose chaser, so he's gonna he's gonna check around town yeah. or so and, and you'll see him Bro kinda walk off and everyone splits away. Before before he leaves, heart the uh, door. Uh, uh before um Brog leaves, Hart will put a hand on his shoulder and stare at him and go, Brog, take care of yourself. We will take care of this. Brog nods and says, thank you. Like, at least I have, is there things called friends here in this town? He, uh, Hart puts uh, the little alarm whistle that he already brought forth before, and he puts it in Brog's hand if you ever need help. And then he runs away towards the rest of the party. See, Brog will rush the opposite way to go take care, uh, to go look around more. And you guys uh, see the pipe to the sewer pipe there. And you see that without the grates, people would be able to fit in there uh, pretty easily, but it is definitely grated off with iron bars, you know, going up and down it. It could prevent like any big creature or any normal sized person getting through. What the dog water? How? <laughs> Let's Ow. see if we can move the, uh, the bars out of the way. See if they can yeah. actually like slide out. Who would like to get up there and give it a shot? Cracks knuckles. <laughs> yeah, Beetle stops short to let somebody else go up there and do it. He's just... <laughs> uh, how would you like to handle this art? Uh, with my bare hands. Uh, <laughs> uh, how rusted is this? Uh, you feel like it, it's got rusty parts to it, but you know it's still fairly okay. sturdy. Is it clogged the fuck up? Is there a lot of debris? No, here? actually, it looks pretty clean. Okay, that's weird. Um, in that case, uh, he will look at the rest of them. Do you want to take a first look at it? If there's like a small contraption or something to open this? Um, are there any obvious uh, locks or any latches or anything on this or? For those who want to look around for a mechanism or something, you can do perception check to find one. For those who want to look around and be like, oh, hey, is there like a thing we're missing? Like a little latch somewhere to open up the grate, yeah. grate or anything? I'll give a roll for that. Why I not? rolled a, uh, I rolled a uh, 10 for a total of 17. 
I okay. rolled a three for a total of 12. Grandma's eyes ain't so good. Okay. <laughs> I'll roll two, because if Beetle sees them looking around for like a something other than the moving the grade itself, he'll, he'll catch on and he'll help. Uh, do a perception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I rolled a two for a total of thirteen. I'll do it. Uh, I'll, I'll fail, but you know that's. <laughs> look at that. Oh uh, my god! Bad eye gang. As, bad eye gang. As you're as you're looking around, uh, you notice uh, nothing. Like, there's no contraption, no nothing, or you not just not finding it. Yeah. You and and for closer inspection, at least for you, Talim. Uh, you're noticing that these are like, I would say welded, but these are part of this pipe. Oh my God. So this is not meant to be a door. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Zorin, how's that scent, that off smell that Gray was smelling? Is it stronger over here? I rolled me survival. Oh. Just your tracking. A total of 15. You still smell it in the air. Okay. All right. When there's nothing being produced, as in, oh, pull that funny lever or something, uh, Hart will grip onto these bars and he can break these cuffs uh, as, <laughs> as he starts pulling on them as much as he can. Uh, Soren, is it an athletic shake? Yes. Nice. He is very strong, but I wish to reroll uh, that. I rolled a four, so I wish <laughs> to spend my hero point to reroll that for a better result. Hopefully, I rolled a nineteen for total thirty-three, <laughs> baby. That <laughs> will be that will be such a good roll that you tear through the thing just. <laughs> And you basically do it so well that you notice that the rim portion of this pipe just boom, just comes right off. You tore the metal off. The whole front kind of protection bit falls off. You toss it to the side. And I assume everyone goes inside. Oh, I yeah. found the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we will be right back. Nice. <laughs> oh, he says sounding away. five feet away, if not more from the mic. <laughs> or just on the other <laughs> on the other side of the room. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Yeah, Froggy's <laughs> dealing with stuff. Hey, wait, hold up, hold up. Uh, wait, uh, she's not gonna hear us all from other she's over there here. Uh, Froggy! Froggy, well, we're, we're over here, Froggy. We're this way, Froggy. You're miles away, Froggy. Welcome back. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I'm bully. You've got all gully Jean Willikers. To be fair, you just, to be you just, fair, you just he make did it ask, too easy. He did ask if you were ready, and you were like, oh. yeah! What? I thought I could try it! I thought I could try it! <laughs> so mean to me. So time, time skills lacking. <laughs> so that the help with this, uh, to continue on, uh, hmm. you guys are heading into the pipe Mario style. What's your marching <laughs> order? Because as you're going to the pipe, you notice only you can go in like a single file. Kind of deal. You can't double stack, uh, you know, left and right of each other. Who's going in first? Well, I am big and I am wall shaped. I think I can go first. To get the whole circumference of the pipe, just, <laughs> just, just <laughs> going across. There's like a Shoom. fleshy, fleshy squeaking sound of Hart's shoulders. Against the no! It's like you Bows, Bowser going through one of the green pipes. Like Mario's yeah. like, oh, I think. And Bowser's Andre. just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Behind heart, heart, behind heart goes. Hart goes into mountain stands while in the uh, while in the pipe, and you see us like ships 
of <laughs> of the pipe just yeah. becoming into little ignition points along the line. So you just like, see scraping, dragging a cinder block down a metal <laughs> sheet. Uh, Beetle will go last because fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gray will go after Heart. Yeah, Colleen will, I guess, be third in line and have a uh, torch out so everyone can see. The yeah, ever that, burning that, ghost torch is ever. Well, actually, no. What? No. Um. Hey, Hart has like a big, like a uh, belt buckle, right? Yeah, he do. Yeah, Liam casts light on the belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's actually his lifting belt, and it's corset shape, but he does have a belt buckle. Okay, perfect. Now you got the crotch pot light. Amazing. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Talim. Now I will never die. <laughs> so to make sure I have the order right, just in case I misheard, it is yep. Hearts Beetle Talim Gray, or is it Gray second? Gray is second. It, okay, my yeah. bad. Beetle is last. Heart for for when gray, the ambush Talim, happens. Beetle, beetle exactly. is in the back for when the ambush happens. So <laughs> you all wait, wait. head into. A pipe. Pew, 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 pew. Thank God. <laughs> I, mentally, <laughs> mentally, I was like in my head. I literally said, "I was like, I, if none of them make the Mario pipe sound, I was gonna be real fucking sad." And <laughs> we 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 see it is confirmed that it's Croc in the in the tunnel, and we it, and we just hear. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> we die in the sewer and it's like doo, 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 do Oh <laughs> my god. We find that a staircase. We can't the find the end of the staircase. You all you all enter inside. But as you're entering in, you see that there's a sort of black fog in front of you. Oh no. So that's the disgusting. As you enter inside and further front of the pipe, you you, you stop because you can't see further down the pipe. This black fog is preventing you from, well, you, you don't want to potentially risk it as your instincts kind of scream at you. Um, what would you guys like to do? Uh, and light okay. is casted on hearts. And I, uh, let me, let me apply it. Thank you so much, actually, uh, for doing that. I'll just put a heart. Oh, there you yeah. go. Oh. Guys, I have a great idea. Before we what? go any further, Beetle's gonna take out his rope and throw it forward. Let's all hold on to this. <laughs> you know what? That's actually a good idea. Yeah. I can always count on you for being smart, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just attach that to yourself somewhere. Uh, sorry to leave, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Eat shit, ghost. But like, to leave it just like stands there like hands up with a shrug. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Art ties it to his belt. Yeah, it smells pretty bad in here. I don't know if the gas will... I don't know. Let's tie it to ourselves to be safe. And he'll tie it to his own belt. Gray's going to try and listen for anything deeper down in the pipe. Okay, so rope is secured. Uh, Gray, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Perception roll. Let's go. That is a 12 for a total of 21. You hear nothing. You still smell oh. the smell, though. Is it stronger in here, or is it consistent? Uh, you were mostly listening for stuff that's where to give your information, but for the smell, it still lingers here. You feel like you're going the right way. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can live pretty well, but I know that you guys aren't that great at. He turns back towards the dark luminous fog going into weird places except you tell him no offense right does anyone have any paper can, can we make a fan for heart to blow around it through all this gross where's my dead you leave fog? what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> you know pats himself but he doesn't have any paper on him after Gray this, has... Liam is going to invent the, uh, uh, the, what is it, the, um, 
like the desk portable fan. fan. The, yeah, yeah, portable the fan, fan with runs off a Sterling engine. Yeah. <laughs> Gust wand. <laughs> yeah. Saying. Uh. Okay. I guess if we, this is the best we could do. We we go forward. I guess. Hey, Soren. Yeah. Uh, how mighty of a fortitude uh, roll or whatever do I need to do to breathe uh, in and breathe out as much of the fog as possible? <gasps> oh! Wait. What? Steam engine? Are you trying to fucking hoover up the fog? You walking forwards going... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a favor. Give yeah. me a favor here. I'm not going to say shit because knowing anything, it'll bite me in the ass. Just roll yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Hart wants to use his legendary lungs. Oh my god. Good thing I, I didn't say six. shit. Nothing happens. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Snorri. I was going to say, if you uh, roll the natural 20, I was going to scream yeah. so much, your mm -hmm. fucking eardrums yeah. rupture. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can can yeah. Gray, would Gray be able to, like, take off her, her cloak and, like, try to, like, Fan the like uh like, just, just, away. like yeah like fush, yeah, fush, sure. like you would like yeah you, you can, do can, so can you, you take off your cloak and you begin to like whoosh, and, uh, do it away it swirls a bit but it it stays consistent she and frowns at it <laughs> heart stands up against the wall hey Talim do you want to have a look at this uh Talim can it will kind of like float up like half passing through um gray like as he you know tries to shuffle forward. And uh, it'll take a closer look at it, you know, try to examine it from a uh, from an arcane standpoint. Like, yeah. what the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, roll, uh, you don't have to move your token. You'll be okay where you are. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll me an arcana check. Is that that magic stank? I rolled a 19 for a total of a 30. Woo! Oh, God yes. dang! This, even though it's a super high roll, uh, you know, this is some powerful magics. Uh, it's a very generic thing to say, I know, but still, it helps yeah. get the point across. Um, you know, this is an obscuring mist, and you know that it is, it's not going to be simply dashed away. Um, you would need something, you would need some, something, a powerful bit of magic to kind of, like, dismiss this. Uh, dismiss it? I'll kill you, do you understand me? <laughs> like... Not even in Minecraft. <laughs> Dang! In Roblox? Yeah, the worst, <gasps> worser fate. <laughs> Some deviant looking character design is gonna come up and shank you in your in your Roblox house. <laughs> I hate this. This is gonna be Fletcher Zelda Shadow Temple vibes. That's my least favorite temple. It's so scary. So Talim, as he kind of examines this, uh, examines this. Um, He'll be like, it seems that someone has used magic to cover this area. Um, I don't think it is something that I can disperse myself. I don't have the means to. Um, Even with your fancy torch? I... The... Yeah. <laughs> Why can't you magic the torch? The, the, it's the, the magic... The, the, this is an ever-burning torch. It is not a, a, a fix-all. <laughs> You know, it is simply it's a, a heatless torch. Yeah, I I, 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 tr I trust Talim with the magic. I, uh, I, I would like you to not, not believe you can't do anything about it, Talim. Okay. Um, if you if you want to be inventive with it, maybe use some of your spells or maybe just think of something off the fly. Uh, you, you're confident with your 30 roll that you there is a way to do it, but you know it's going to be difficult with whatever you try here. You know, so whoever put this here knows what they're doing. I, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm looking at what I got and I see nothing in my toolkit that I'm like, I could fix some scary mist with this. It's like, okay. Like if you don't, if you can, yeah. if you don't have anything, that's okay. Yeah. Like I, I have, I'm a, <laughs> so the, the you, one is thing, he, yeah, is a, he's a war mage. He's not a utility. The mage, one thing I so. always encourage, at least for spellcasters to do in this thing is it's okay to use your spells in an inventive way. Uh, but if you can't think of one, that's okay. Yeah, I can't think of anything what that if, would. What if you Captain America had your shield down there? I, uh, I, then I would just throw my shield down a dark corridor. 
I Listen, cast I'm my dead. shield into the darkness. <laughs> I cast. I throw. cast shield into the darkness. <laughs> throw ten feet. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing things at the wall. I. So do I know that it's obscuring mist at least, or do I even do I even know what the spell is? Uh, you don't know exactly what the spell is, but it, it it'd be close in that nature. I I would say hold your breath and continue forward. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, I breathed it. It's fine. I and heart and heart takes a step forward. Okay. <laughs> You to enter into the mist, uh, your the light spell gets eaten. It's still on. You are still radiant. You can only see just a little bit in front of you, heart, but it just whoosh, like the mist just does not allow light to go. Heart Gray's, disappears. Gray's getting, oh, Gray's getting pulled forward because they're all like holding yeah. that rope. Yep. I'm still here. We we know. Gray will just like walk right into his backside, just thump. <laughs> All right, go ahead and uh, just to just to save us some moving of tokens and stuff all the time. Uh, who everyone enters in? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. OK, so here's something I would like for both of you to do or all of you to do for me, please. Uh, oh, no. Pre do not communicate this in any way, mm -hmm. shape or form to each other. Yeah. Don't say a word. Don't make yep. a hint. Not anything. Okay. Yep. Pre type in the foundry chat there. Pre type left or right do not submit it do not submit it only you left or right because as you feel your way and i'll tell you when to press enter to submit it in the chat there can we do it as a private gm thingy no uh it does it won't matter okay uh so as you guys are going down the pipe um you notice that you kind of like like oh, it's a bit bit rougher sharper so you notice the pipe that the pipes here as you're feeling around the walls, you can't quite notice where your friends are, at least, but you notice they kind of go either to the left or to the right. Uh, I'm gonna just check, like, don't give me your answer and don't submit it yet into the chat thing there. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna check. Uh, Gray, do you have your thing ready? Yes. Helene? Yep. Beetle? Yep. And Heart? Yeah. All of you press enter and submit your directions. <gasps> So, for people to know, Heart goes left, Talim goes right, Beetle goes right, and Gray chose right. Oh, no. So, as you all are going. Oh, bye. A moment. Heart. Can uh, we still Talim. feel the pull on the rope, even though Heart isn't there anymore? Only three of you are connected via that rope. Oh, oh no! God. Yeah, it was. It right, was. Hold up. Oh wait. All right, I'm fucking with you. Quick, sorry. There you go. <laughs> okay. You guys exit out. Side there. There you go. Heart. Right, chat. There you go. You guys exit through, and three of you have lost Heart. Heart. What? She's <laughs> Grace gonna start craw, uh, crying out. Heart! Heart! Heart, you hear nothing. Heart is talking <laughs> as if uh, everyone is behind him. Oh, so no. he, he's he's saying things like, "So um, when we meet up, whoever it is that it's probably Croc, right? So yeah. So what I'm thinking is that when we meet him, that we should try to have some kind of some kind of." war cry or something, you know, for, for morale. <laughs> uh, as he is walking down this road on his own, I wish to note to everyone that Heart's greatest fear in the world is to be alone. No, I hate my everything son. right now. <laughs> what? Where did he go? This makes no sense. We were following him. Did he let He was the right rope? there. He was right there. He's gone. Like Gray just like holds up the rope and it's just like yeah. he's not there. Yeah. <laughs> Did... Like Talim is like sitting there and he's got like his arms crossed and he's like thinking is like maybe some sort of a, a, a 
transposition trap or something. They've already employed magic once. I don't see yeah. why they wouldn't do it again. He may have been... Oh, God, he could have been teleported to anywhere. Let's keep Heart! going. Heart! Let's, let's keep going. Heart! Okay, like so to, to save you struggling through going through pipes on the grid system, I'll just tell yeah. you, if you go forward, I'll move you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. So you don't have to you don't have to move your tokens. So you're good. Just stay oh, together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Saying uh, beats you. So <laughs> is beat. So I'm now going to choose uh, eyes again. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna check on heart. Heart. Yeah. You yeah. have just found yourself to be alone. No one's behind you. There's no rope. And the mist is behind you. And in front of you, you see the pipe continue to wind away. Now, I know the metal map doesn't show it because I'm, I'm learning the new yeah, tool yeah. and stuff. Uh, there is a trickle of water going in, but it's really nothing to really worry about. But um, you see it just winding forward in front of you. Oh. Um. Edo? Talim? Ray? He, he looks backwards towards this mist uh, and he looks at the rope by his side. I take it that it's cut off in some way. Uh, he takes it off. He unloops the, the rope from his belt and drops it on the ground. As he walks down, does he see anything you except see, for the smoke? You whatever. See, you see the swirling mist. That is uh, standing there at just a, a, a bit of an edge there. You can either he, try to go through or continue down the pipe. He, he starts breathing a bit heavily, but he remembers something that Beetle told him, and he pulls out a piece of shock, and he goes, Always turn right always turn right and he puts the shock towards the wall and he starts walking okay or right, making a mark and continued your way down um big question Liam, yeah you you cast yeah. it light right on heart yes did you try to cast it on yourself as well uh no i have a i have my ever burning torch out okay okay that is I was about to say, like, if you cast light on both yourselves, I want to have, like, and heart, your light, boom, <laughs> goes away. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. But I just dra I drag the, the light effect on myself because I'm like, I can't find the torch button. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's okay. If you ever need, uh, oh, well, you don't have the torch button. Probably because it's not counting as a torch thing. Uh, please give me a moment. Uh, family. Oh, wait. Yep. No, no, wait. No. Never mind. Sorry. My father okay. was calling me, and of course, for family stuff. But he <laughs> yeah. called and it stopped. So I'm going to assume <laughs> everything's okay. Yeah. If it's important, he'll call again. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for that, we're going to go on to other team for hmm. Ray, Talim, Beetle. Um, Heart is missing, as you guys have already exclaimed and found out. You can either try to go back into the mist to look for Heart, or you can continue down the pipe. He was in front of you guys. Yeah, it would make no sense to go backwards because he was in front. Um, Ray's going to keep going forward cautiously, ca still calling out Hard's name. And she is actually raising her voice. She doesn't do this very often, so there's a bit of panic. Hard! Hard! Beetle's doing the exact same thing. Beetle's following, holding on to his rope and screaming for heart down the pipes. You hear nothing in response. <laughs> yeah, uh, Talim is uh, basically holding up his torch and he's just looking both, you know, he will like look behind them, look in front of them, you know, like further down the pipe, however far the torchlight reaches. You know, as they both uh, call out, um, too hard. So, Grey Grey smells everything, but like she 
she's been focused so much on that rancid sniff snorfy smell. Um, yeah. Did did Hart's smell just disappear entirely? Yes. Oh, that's awful, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, she's gonna keep going down. Okay, so Hart, you you're continuing down. Uh, other teams going down. So, chat. Chat, I got a, uh, I got a, I got a question for you. Oh no. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. I'm looking up. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading my notes that I put in for myself. I'm scared. Uh, okay. The chat, give me a number between one and twenty. Let me know if there's any funny ones. First one who says a number. Okay, got it. Thank you, chat. All right. I use chat as a D twenty. <laughs> Basically, whoever the first one did it got me a result. All right, thank you for that. So. Um, as you guys are going down, Hart, you make it as you can Hart is continuing down the pipe. And Hart, you see you get to another crossway. He will follow the He will follow the tips uh that he was given. Um and he will keep going right. Uh the shock still rubbed up against the wall, um, giving an active trail as to where he is. Um, if he could write, he would have written, uh, I am this way, art on the wall, but he can't. Um, and I, uh, does he hear anything from any of these two? Pretty silent, except the trickling of water, mostly over to the right. To the left, you hear nothing keeps on going right then all right here to serve that other team you all continue down the pipe if i last remember correct mm -hmm. yes you all begin to continue on. you too meet a crossway up you guys here there you go thank you there's another you too meet a crossway do you go left or do you go right oh this is the Grace same thing gonna listen I'll listen for uh, any sounds. Roll me a perception check. To I'm listen scared. For some sounds. I'm gonna listen. That's an eleven for total twenty. That roll is actually a two, as light begins to shimmer uh, around you. Sort of a rainbowish light uh, begins to come um, in. Uh, All of you there, roll me a will save. Mm. Uh, Thanks, chat. You turned a 20 to a 2. And that will minus me a villain point. Okay. Total of 24. I rolled a 12 for a total of uh, 21. I rolled my 21. For a total of 22. Woof. That could be worse. <laughs> could be worse. Pretty good, right? As... What have we done? You know what you did, chat. <laughs> <laughs> As you're in there, a guy kind of starts popping down on the other side of the pipe here, and he's like, "Hey, look, uh, what you, what you folks doing in here?" He seems to be, you know, kind of limping a little bit. He comes up to you all, saying, "Like, you are, uh, like, it's kind of weird for people to be coming to my home this way." Your home? Yeah. In my home, the tubes. The tubes are my life, you know. Uh, we are. Uh, Gray looks flabbergasted. <laughs> we, we, we lost a friend in the pipes. We're looking a friend? for something. Yes. I lost a friend too. He was with Did the tubes. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. We all live in the tubes. Oh, you live in the tubes? <laughs> well, no, we're we're just looking for 
for our friend. We don't live in the tomb, Oh, sir. well, your friend's that way. And he points to the other side. He's that way. How, Talim, how do you know? Uh, yeah. uh, actually, Talim, uh, you're slightly suspicious of this guy. Gray, with your role, you just got it. This is horseshit. <laughs> like, you, from the magical effects and everything, you can tell this is a fabric of your imagination. For everyone else, though, guy likes his tubes. I don't believe you at all. What, what do you mean? Your friend's that way. You're fake. You're oh, fake. Geez. Gets mad. <laughs> 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 Your J's, they're fake. <laughs> cut the shit. I don't cut I my shit. For it. What, yeah, what do you mean? Because you're fake. What, you what don't you mean? shit. I, I, She's just going to walk I, through him. I don't shit. I, I don't shit. And he disappears as through. you walk through him. Vita <laughs> 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 uh, uh, looks horrified. Uh, Salty's electricity died. So oh, no. Oh. Well, no! that that kind of works out because at this point, uh, heart is lost in tubes. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, heart no. Is, heart is lost in tubes, so this actually kind of works out. But when Salty comes back, don't worry. Uh, and boy, he's lost the tubes. <laughs> the oh, tubes have taken him. Are you boy. friends with the tubes? The I was pipes, crazy once. The pipes are calling. The tubes. Are the tubes calling, <laughs> technically? Calling. <laughs> we all live in the tubes. Okay. Which way do you guys want to go? Left or right? Well, in the exact opposite direction of where he was pointing. I I advocate also for this course of action. Okay, that what? was behind you. So left oh, or right forward. So yeah. Oh, shit. We're still left or right. Um, uh, 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 you're going to make it always look, go look. right. Always go right. Yeah, but wait. what if that's what? What if that's what he, he wants us but to wait, do? What? And what if he was actually? What if he? Okay, so this is some kind of strange uh, phenomenon. Either we're all collectively losing our minds and sharing a dream, or, or there's more magic stuff happening. And okay, hear me out. If there's someone's he, fucking with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're fucking with us, and they're pointing that way because they know we won't go that way. And what if he actually does know where Hart is? What if he took Hart? Gray will pick up Beetle and put him in front of her. Choose. Beetle's gonna go the way he was pointing. Okay. <laughs> all right, you choose left. We choose you all. Left. You all continue down. You all continue down the pipes. Oh no, the tubes move me! Ah! <laughs> the tubes! <laughs> the tubes! I'm getting you I feel all like kinda... I'm in a water slide. I wonder Whee! if we'll ever see any tube men. Hey, you we, ever see any did, tubes in We did see a tube man! And then he was fake. Oh, oh, you moved yourself, yeah. Talim. Ah. <laughs> yeah. You moved yourself oh. and it glitched, oh. yeah. Don't oh no, he's gone. It. We lost to leave too. Oh no, the tubes. <laughs> They're calling. The tubes, the tubes are calling. Do you remember how Croc had those magic guys? The the magic eaters, the word eaters? That was uh, Croc, uh, right? Yes. He was like, I prefer not to remember. They are strange lot. Yeah, but you do. You do remember. So what if this has something to do with that? What if he's had them set something like this up if it really is Croc? We should just keep moving forward. I'm just trying to explain all this silly stuff that's happening. As you, uh, guys, feel free to move up the pipes if you'd like. Okay. But as move. you continue forward, I'm so I think you, you notice, tubes. you notice <laughs> that there is you start to hear kind of humming as you're going down. Oh, not this again. <laughs> it's Charles! You're here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but instead, you're hearing, uh, forgive me if this sounds as terrible or not. It's like, boom. No, no, there it goes. It kind of works. It makes like, boom. It's like someone, some kind soul is just, just humming something to sleep. But the kind soul that you see is this 
horrific looking creature, at least to your eyes, and you see that it looks something like this. Oh. You see a I crocodile type person rotting away with mummified wraps around it in robes, have a cigar in its mouth, just puffing away. And it seems to be kind of sitting down, uh, legs crossed onto the floor of this kind of broken away. The sewer pipe breaks away a little bit to reveal sort of like this kind of like rocky chamber. You see that where it would have connected straps of like, uh, straps of metal and stuff were on the ground where it would have connected uh, water seems to be pouring out on the other end of the pipe where it should be connected. And you see this thing just kind of like in this kind of whole cavern like area, just rocking back and forth. Just simply going. And you all hear meow, like a little cat meow, just meow. And you see it's petting. There's a cat as it's rocking back and forth an orange cat? Is it a cat cat or is it a cat folk cat? See, it's an orange cat with a collar on with a gemstone. No, 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 Just quiet. No, 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 no. Great quietly. Quietly steps forward. Just slowly. It doesn't look like he has eyes in his head, right? He have he, he doesn't have eyes in his head, right? Talib will, Talib will like whisper um to uh the beetle. It's like, do you think that stops skeletons? We don't know. <clears throat> Can we throw a small rock or something? Perhaps. Like, like it's not there. you throw things at it. Not at it, but like pick up a rock and throw it at the far wall over there. See what it does. Maybe he can't see. Looks like he doesn't have any. Looks like he's got no skin on his head. Yeah, or, or eyes. <sighs> it, mm. What if we go in there and we startle him and he does something to her? That's the last thing we want. I, I have no good solution for this. My chest is tight. Beetle <laughs> <laughs> unbuttons his shirt. <laughs> My chest hurts. <laughs> Beetle has a heart attack in the middle of the tubes. Oh no! Like cardiac arrest. Oh, I, look no. I look around. Is there a doctor? Is anyone a doctor? <laughs> Our doctor is the one having the attack. <laughs> uh, Grace gonna look around for like a pebble or something to toss. Okay. Um, you probably find some refuse. Uh, down, kind of like in the sewer thing. Yeah, like a, like thing. A, a stick or something. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you got some. Yeah. Toss it. What would I? What, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> you toss it. It lands in the middle. You see this thing kind of like stop humming, and it looks up sharply. I like its head's turning, as if it's like trying to like catch the audio like a little bit better. Like. <laughs> It's like, it's like snapping. It's just trying to like just grab something, like, you know. And um, as it's doing so, it's just looking around, just like trying to listen. So you hear it going, you know. It's just smelling the air, going just just smelling for something. You know, quickly lifts an arm, sniffs under his pit. <laughs> Zorin, is this the set the the source of the smell? Rolling perception or survival? Oh, no, uh, let's do survival. As a total of eighteen. Yes. Oh. <sighs> 
He seems a bit gone. I'm not sure if that's, you know, obvious. We have to get her to put her down. And not hurt her. How did he get through the pipes? How did he get out? How did he get in here? He doesn't look like it wants to hurt her. I... Perhaps think... if we are to distract it further? I don't hey, know. Hey. You're a ghost. He looks like he. <laughs> could, 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 <laughs> Yo, bro, you dead. Uh, you got something come. <laughs> looks like he could not be. Um, maybe you could. Maybe he will be less startled if if you try and. You don't make footsteps. Don't make footsteps. I mean, you got feet, but they're. <laughs> they might not. People might not be able to hear your whispering. You gotta get real close to the yeah. mic for it. <laughs> you got little dangly feet. People might not. They, you, might, you might not hear your little feet. You have the little dangly hanging feet. <laughs> Kaleem oh. like looks down at his feet, looks back up, and uh, looks down at his feet, then continues to look down at Beetle. Looks back Float to his there. feet and then like narrows his eyes at Beetle and is just like, Float over there with your little wind chime feet. I, <laughs> <sighs> I am back. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. So the lean will like do like his is fine. He's like it's fine, fine. I will try and sneak in there best I can, and like he'll like do the thing where he like dusts himself off, like he's trying to get sand off his robes. And uh, I will actually use stealth to try and to float into the room and to the side undetected. Sure thing, Talim. Roll me yeah. a stealth check. Oh, oh no. boy! I'm scared. Oh boy, I can't wait oh to see boy. what type of roll you're gonna get. All right, so I roll a seven plus 10 for a total of a 17. Oh boy. You float in and yeah. you see and you see this creature just kind of like just snap its jaws a little bit, but the cat's just like, meow. Just like, just having a good time. Uh, you see what light on you? Uh, yes. That is be a detriment. Oh, oh, crap. Crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. oh no! Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> uh, I will be I a merciful like game. Light. I'll be a there merciful was... game master and assume you took off the light. Just, yeah, I, I put the torch up. And, Just like yeah. cast it back there. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. There uh -huh. you go. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. It's of course what you would do. Of course. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> exactly absolutely. what I would do. Sweats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you kind of float in and you get a much closer look at this thing. You know, um, you know, last time you saw Croc, Croc was yeah. very much alive. Yes. But as you're getting uh, closer to this thing, you're starting to hear. So pretty, so wonderful, so soft. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. All we need is a thing, and then you can go away. <laughs> and you see, this thing is uh, just kind of like claws on its, you know, its its hand claws are just picking at the at the neck piece, going, oh, just a little. Oh, we might just wear away. Maybe if it expired, I can take it anyway. <laughs> and it's just it's picking at the necklace uh, that the cat has with the collar. So um, as it makes its uh, little rhyme, uh, Kaleem uh, like reaches a hand into one of his pouches to pull out a uh, to pull out a uh, a coin and hold it between uh his first finger and his thumb and uh he'll look at back at the other two and he'll like make like a like a draw a line across his neck and he's like shaking his head he's like mm -mm, it's not good it's not good <laughs> it's bad <laughs> so I want to give time for y'all there, just for Saudi. So were we able to get back to the game and everything, or 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Excellent. Okay. Uh, it, it, and I was following everything separately, so okay, I know okay. what has happened. Okay. Um, just to give time a little bit uh, for you, Hart, just to kind of pause things. You are lost in the tubes. Yeah. Right now, uh, you are yeah. lost in the tubes, and you you will enjoy when you're called upon. Just to give you a heads up, if that's okay. If there's a thing you want to do, just let me know. Feel free to interject, but you're lost in the tubes right now. You're going yeah, which he, way, that way, everything. He, he, he just keeps on walking. He legit keeps on walking. And when he finds nothing, um, I have one final question in regards of this. Yes. Um, how long is the reach of the light spell? Uh, it's 60 feet, I think. Off the top of my head, but it could be wrong. But it goes, it goes a good way. You see down most of the tubes, like long, yeah, longer yeah. hallways. Yeah, uh, and that is great. Uh, it's awesome. Um, so he's not alone in the dark. That would fuck him up. Uh, but when he legit finds none of them, he starts going faster, and he just starts running through the tubes as fast as possible. Um, just to try to close a loop so he can start running back and everything. Yeah. Uh, but that's him. He is just uh, humming some song to himself uh, because he can't stop. If his friends are somewhere, he needs to find them. Okay, okay, good, good. So Talim, Beetle, and Gray. You see this thing just kind of talking sweetly to the kitten, just kind of picking at the necklace. What do you all do? Liam is floating there stealthily. I'm totally panic. That's what I'm doing. Uh... Yeah, me too. <laughs> Grace going to slowly, carefully shuffle out of the tube, just holding her breath the entire time, because that's what I'm doing right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm scared, Zori. Are you stealthing? <laughs> yes, roll. I will use stealth. Yeah, roll me a stealth roll, please. I will stealth. That's 11 for a total of 22. Okay, okay. It's pretty good to me. You're able to crawl in there, just all nice and sneaky like, blending with the sound of the water. Beetle, what's up? Oh, Beetle has an idea. I will also roll uh -oh. for stealth because I'll, I know, <laughs> I'll have to move forward. Um, Beetle will, hold on, let me roll for the stealth because Beetle's going to move forward to try and brush uh, against Gray's haunch to try and like move her or signal that she should move out of the way of the pipe. Yeah, she'll just so she's not over. standing in front of it. So that's a 17 for my stealth. Okay, that's, that's good. Yeah, so Beetle goes up there, makes sure both of them are away from the front of the pipe, and then backs up, gives them both a look. And then he spins around and starts smacking and drumming on the pipe and <gasps> running. And he's going to run away. He's going to start ah, like making a bunch of noise and smacking the shit out of the pipe and take off down it. <gasps> Back into the tube? Yeah, into the tube. With a snarl. Just <laughs> and it basically whoosh, it leaps up like a bat out of hell and chases you. Does it drop the cat? The cat is left behind. Yes, okay, yes. <laughs> and once you see this thing do, going, it's mine, it's mine, brush and you see, and you see this thing just charge at you, and it turns, okay. it turns, Beetle, uh. into 
a bunch of worms. Have you ever seen Ooh. Princess Mononoke before? Yes, and I hate this. Yes, and I hate this. <laughs> Imagine oh, those wiggly little worm things oh. with teeth at the end of it. Just oh, like, I'm a bar. <laughs> snap, 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 snap. Just going at it. Just and it oh. surges after you, Beetle. Um, okay. So, Beetle, uh, what I'm going to do you, just to keep this you've easier. Got a, a mass of angry worms uh, following you right I'm now. Gonna, I'm going to throw he's, you he's this running. way. And what you hear down the tubes as it's chasing you is is that I want my revenge. My son will pay, and you won't take my victory from me. And it's <laughs> just a. It's a concophony of the worms all together screaming at you and it goes through the pipes. Hearts. Oh yeah. You hear it. Huh? You know where to go. Do you go? Uh, you uh, he's lost in, in the middle of nowhere and he hears anything but his own footsteps and the trickling of water. He starts, he drops the shock and just start running and he starts screaming after Beetle, Grey and Talim as he just starts running the fastest he can. Good, good, good. good. So you begin to run. You begin to run. Let me see. Uh, let's try this one. Let's try this bit of music. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That'll work. This thing is not going through it all. We're going to do a little bit of a narrative running away on this one. Yeah. If you want to take care of this one cuz we we feel like we know where this is going. Um yeah. Gray and Talim, you both are there. Also this token doesn't need to be here. Uh you're there the kitten the kitten or Frog's daughter is right there going Meow. So this is Brug's kid, i pretty sure. Hello! <laughs> Trots up to you. We're here to take you back to your dad. Meow. <laughs> okay, that's not a no! So she just, she just leans over and she picks her right on up. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> Heart. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, well, hold on, sorry, Talim first, then, yeah, then Hart. No, no, no I, I, I was going to say, uh, uh, if uh, Gray has that, then Talim starts to uh, uh, fly down the pipe uh, after Beetle and the Worm Monster as it's chasing Beetle and focused on uh, on him. Uh, Gray's going to quickly, like, tuck the uh, the cat into, like, her, her little, like, shawl, and she's going to start booking it down. Okay, good, good. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and move yourself on now on the battle grid here. Hart. And yep. Talim and Gray, or at least you hear goom, 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 doom, 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 doom. You've been going through all these pipes, Hart, and you pop right out of one of the side ones here. Bloop, right there. Oh. And you see Talim and Gray rushing through uh, the pipe. I run up to them. Easy as pie. He has slides out a uh, when he escapes the uh, the pipe it's like he breaks with one foot into the dirt and it just piles up as he slides out here and he stares at them uh, as if he his eyes are those of a person 15 uh, years older than he is uh, and he goes you guys you're still alive grail look over her shoulder we found the cat we're monster Let's go. <laughs> he just raises his uh, his eyebrows like, what? D yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to ask everyone to do now is to roll for initiative. Uh, okay. Heck yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba. That's a 10 for a total of 19. I rolled a uh, 12 for a total of a 19. Okay. I rolled a 6 for a total of 17. Okay. 
Beetle, do you remember? Do you remember how? Or sorry, sorry, say again. Sorry. We're rolling for initiative. Right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I got distracted by a text from my mommy. So uh, that good. is a sixteen. Okay, good. Uh, I will now roll for the thing. It rolled very low. <laughs> it rolled Ooh. very low, but it got very a twenty-one. Low, huh? Yeah, he's got a high initiative. <laughs> so this pile of worms um is it still in the shape like does it move like it has four legs uh it move it, it's it's moving as if like there is like a creature in the middle of just like, yeah. like hands and legs just like it's grabbing onto the side but it's just a a swarm of these things yeah that makes it worse yeah it just and it's going straight for you beetle so what it's going yeah. to do is it is a swarm. It goes over you oh. and it will just to kind of help out with targeting and stuff. We'll do this first. Uh, it will ask you to uh, make a reflex save. Please click that. Okay. Uh, click that button there in the chat there for the re uh, reflex save. Nice. You click the thing. I don't think you did. Oh, I, I clicked the dice. Sorry. Let's see here. That's okay. Oh. Don't worry. I'll take your 27. Don't worry. Uh, oh, okay. You succeed. Okay. Okay. Is that you succeed? So basically, oh. let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, you will only take half of this damage. Oh my God. Which is half of 13. Oh, okay. So 13, do I you? You only take six points of damage. Okay. With all of its stuff, all of its turns basically was going up to you. Talim. You see a yeah. lot of like all these worms <laughs> and with your uh i'll say you can have your ever burning torch out now if you needed light again or okay. so um but this thing is just swarming over beetle what do you want to do uh can i uh mm, can i actually choose to go after beetle has had a chance to move uh, you can you can just delay your turn if you like. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll do that. Okay. I know there's I know some people are like ah oh, it's official ruling to do this or this like I'm I'm okay with people delaying their turns and waiting. Okay. Normally it takes yeah. like two actions and then you do a thing, but I'm okay with it. You can house roll. Okay. Uh, great. It'll now be your turn. Okay. So oh, this is a different kind of enemy. We haven't had this kind of enemy before. Yeah. Um. Because using a crossbow, I have shot one worm. <laughs> yeah. If you uh, need to learn more about a creature, uh, you can try to do a nature check on it ooh. or any applicable lore skill to recall knowledge on it and gain information about that creature to help help. So you can tell your friends, hey, this is the best way to take care of this thing. Uh, I would like to survival or nature. Uh, uh, not. Uh, survival, they'll give you different things of uh, knowledge. I'll say nature is best applicable for this yeah, creature. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gree's gonna try and study this thing real quick uh, while it's <laughs> trying to have a feeding frenzy on Beetle. Um, <laughs> that's a two. I'm I'm gonna re-roll that. I'm gonna use a hero point and re-roll okay. that. Nice. Use one of my many hero points. Goodness gracious. Thank you, chat. That's an eight for a total of 15. That's better. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you don't quite get enough information about this thing, but the one thing that you do know, which is the obvious thing about this is a swarm. Um, mm. And you know, you can still hurt it if you just keep shooting into it. Might not be as effective, <laughs> but uh, oh of, sing right, yeah. of single targeting like attacks, but it might not be All effective right. that way, but you know. All right. Well, she's she's uh probably flustered. She's uh you know in a dark tube. Uh, so this is her haunted prey now. I'm declaring that as haunted prey, and uh, we're gonna shoot with the uh the the Quenchier, uh the Quenchier crossbow. All righty. That is it for me. And I failed. I missed entirely oh, with a total of eighteen. <laughs> that was all your action. You took one action yep. to look at it. Haunted prey. Bam. Heart. Your turn. Yep. Uh heart uh only knows that uh, he can't see the thing yet 
Uh, so all he hears, presumably, is the writhing, stomping sound of the creature and beetles screaming, uh, and that he was hurried by his friends. So in a cloud of smoke, he's gonna uh, use Key Rush uh, to transpose himself uh, through his friends. Awesome. Uh, so I cast Key Rush as one action, and I transpose myself here. Wow. Or well, over here, rather. Uh, and now I am concealed as uh, Hart appears out of a veil of smoke as he stops himself because he sees the fucking thing right in front of him. And he goes, woo, woo. So you behind it, worms <laughs> coalesce into a mouth and <laughs> right back at you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hart is going to instinctively just uh, freeze up into mountain stance. And as my third action, I'm gonna start punching it. <laughs> uh, and rather than just punching, uh, fighting a swarm, easiest way of doing it is uh, by wide sweeps. So as he hardens his body like rocks, he's gonna do a lariat with, a, uh, with the side of his hand. So he's gonna just slice through this with his with his karate shop hands. Are uh, you trying to I, bullshit me for a slashing no, effect on no, the sword? No, 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 no. Thematically, <laughs> okay, just okay. thematically, my dude. Don't, Don't worry like, about it. Sorry. It's still it's still blunt as a freaking brick. Uh, flurry of blows on the funny mound. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, so I'm gonna use two strikes on this body. Uh, so strike number one. Oh damn! I, I forgot I, the target. Tar I forgot it's the target. That so is a hit. One hit. Nice. And uh, the damage is thirteen. And then, as Fleur blows allows me to strike an arm, strikes twice for one action. Uh, that is sadly a miss. However, I have one hero point left. Want to reroll it? Last hero that's my last hero point, and I'm gonna re-roll it. Because here's the coolest thing. Okay, no, I rolled a three for another miss, sadly. Uh, oh, because the, the cool coolest thing. The, the, oh, coolest, no. the coolest thing is that Fleur of Blows combines into one damage source mm -hmm. for overriding uh, damage resistance. Uh, very useful uh, when you fight big and scary things. Uh, however, uh, this is a writhing mass of worms. It doesn't matter if you kill one of them. There's hundreds more. Speaking of hundreds more, Beetle, all these worms are biting and snatching and you're like, nah, 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 nah. And he's already ripped off bits of your little scaly flesh and bit into your wings and everything else. What My do you do? Wings. Well, uh, I move the maximum movement speed as far as far as I can in two turns. Uh, away. <laughs> Just start keep running. I go over here. Yeah, and I'm still, I'm screaming. I'm smacking the tube. I'm like trying to be as boisterous. Yeah, yeah, as conquer, as conquer, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, conquer, 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 Just screaming, little wormies falling off So you want to move for two actions, right? I'll allow you for one action to continuously try to taunt this enemy. Uh, oh, how, yes. how, how would you taunt the, along with the banging of the pipes? Uh... Uh, yeah. Well, uh, so he's screaming and smacking the pipes, and as he's getting bitten, maybe he's like, Ah, careful where you bite! I got your cat! I got your cat! I took it! I took the cat! <laughs> and on my last turn, I want to use my winglets to do a long jump just to get an extra five feet away from so it. <laughs> The thing I'm doing is that I'm allowing you to, to taunt it for an action. Yeah. So yeah, you're moving twice and then that. So yeah. Uh, and long jumping requires two actions. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's okay. Uh, roll me. You're trying to do intimidation or deception. Yeah, definitely deception. Okay. Go ahead and roll that for me. Trying to bring attention through the cat. Uh, sorry, I misread my description of my winglets. I thought if I moved first and then I could jump. Uh, so that is a total of 13. It's not very good.
Sorry, well, I was addressing the situation. So with that, okay. All right, we'll consider that. Aleem. Or you know what, can I, can I use a hero point? Sure thing. I'll use a hero point, give it again. That's nice. Oh, that's a total 28. Excellent, that's a great thing. Let me mark you down. Go I, I hero will know. point. There is one single jumping uh, feature that you can perform as one single action, and that is a leap. And leaps are only uh, 10 feet uh, in horizontal space. But since you have the funny winglets, you increase that by five. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying yeah, yeah. to run 10 feet and then do a long jump and get oh, an extra okay. five feet out of my movement. But I misread the description of the winglets. Yeah, yeah, don't don't worry about it. There, there's long jumps, high jumps, and leaps. Leaps are the ones that you always succeed at, and long gotcha. jumps are the ones that you need to roll for. I gotcha, I gotcha. So with Thank you that, so much for your patience. Helene, my stupid brain. Yes, it's your turn. All right. Um, I will move up to uh here along the edge of the pipe and that will be my first action and then i will actually um so it is focused on um on it, beetle it's, yeah it's focused on beetle does it look in any way shape or form that the uh heart has offended in the least with his attack uh, you feel just... you feel hard has smashed into it a, a good chunk, but like you definitely okay. know it wasn't as effective as Hart wanted it to be. All right, and this is the roiling mass of worms. Like it's yeah, just... it's a all right big old thing. So, Clean will actually scooch up into this corner of the pipe. He will uh, look back at um uh, look back at Gray and. Uh, uh, look at her and like, you might want to brace yourself a bit. And he'll actually crouch down, put his shield in front of him, and I will spend two actions uh, to actually cast Blazing Dive. As, uh, he basically assumes a sprinter stance, and he hurls himself, uh, uh, hurls himself forward uh, to the other side. Wait, hold on, wait. Let me look at this. Um... But like right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, yeah. Basically, gonna put yourself in there. I yeah. I'll allow it, even though it says right. you fly 15 straight straight up into the air. You would just bonk yourself on the head or so. Yeah. I'm okay with you angling yourself, you know, yeah. and, and doing I mean, all this basically, stuff. Basically, he he cannonballs himself through this. Yeah, just <laughs> call, boom. And that's, why he put, that's why he puts the shield in front of him. You know, smart. Like, mm, it's about it. yeah, yeah. it's cool to me. More, and I'll more allow area. It. Okay. Told me it all out. I'm sure other game yeah. be like, no, I there's a ceiling, you know. Yeah, I figured it was worth a shot. <laughs> it's like I like cool shit. Well, let it happen. Go ahead and place yourself yeah. down there because you basically move yourself, and um, we will go ahead and make him roll his reflex save. Yes. It succeeds. We'll take half damage. So go ahead and roll damage for me. Ooh. Here we go. That is. That'll be half of 13 and that'll be and you'll see it'll just whoosh and you and you notice that because of you're doing such a wide area effect stuff a lot more worms get hurt so a bunch of them just go and just like basically just like a lot of them just are just dissipating like a like one of them trying to form a hand to kind of grab you but you're boosh, and a lot of them just singe away and disintegrate you did 10 points of damage instead of your 13. You still feel I, that was that's pretty good for what you did there. All right, um, and that is the end of my turn because I've used all three of my actions. Excellent. This thing still trying to get at Beetle will move past you for one, try to bite you along the way <laughs> as it does so. So it'll do one a, one action uh, to move onto you. I'd move it over just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, please click this for me in chat for to do a reflex save. They'll do all the math and everything for us. And I rolled an 18 for a total of 30. You are good. You're only going to take half of this. 
You only take half of 11. You only take three points of damage along with all your undead resistances. So hell yeah. So um, I only take one point of damage. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, was that already calculated? It, it already calculated everything. You only took three. Okay. So you did all that. This thing gets used to move <laughs> forward after Beetle, but it's very slow. Use his last action to do that. Gray, it's your turn. Gray kind of looks at this thing co constantly running away and like squirming away, and she's just like, I'm getting too old for this. And so she, <laughs> As you say that, I'm too old for this. <laughs> Keeps clawing for Beetle, constantly screaming, <laughs> just going like, I need it. I need it. You can't oh take it from me. Worry. What's my max? Uh, Where's my, what's my max uh, distance I can go again? It's been a hot minute. Always look at your character sheet and you'll see speed uh, on your main mm. tab there. It says 25. So 25. each Thank square you. is five feet. Two of these, because she's realized that crossbow ain't going to do anything. So she's going to run up to this thing and she's going to dive into it and start tearing at it. Start biting into it and stuff. Yeah, biting and tearing and just ripping and tearing until it's done tear, uh, tear. with the cat with the in your arms no it's in her it's in her it's in her hood oh okay but oh, with the what cat about? in my hood okay <laughs> noted <laughs> it's in the hood <laughs> me, 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 me. uh can you unarm then yeah yeah uh if you want it's, to punch it I, uh if you want to punch well, it which is bludgeoning yeah you can do the unarmed attack uh okay you have your bite thing there I do have bite. I could use bite. Yeah. I could use bite. My, yeah, my whichever brain one you want to do. You, that is uh, an 18 for a total of 31. You do critically hit it. Roll the critical damage for me. Critical damage. That's a total of 18. That's an excellent roll. But as you're biting into it, you notice this, you're not making good way. You're talking about, and you're not quite able to chomp on them as well as you would hope. It only takes four damage instead of 18. Dang. All right, well, that's it for me. Hart, it is your go. He slides up like a rock uh, across the ground, just uh, sparks flying from his feet uh, as he just slides up at this creature. And uh, with the final momentum of him running up and sliding, uh, he is going to... Uh, he's going to scream out uh, at this thing don't you touch him don't you touch him uh, and i want to try to intimidate this creature okay you know how to do the prompt thing at all or all right uh, i rolled i rolled a 20 sorry for the prompt so we'll click that heck yeah the demoralize action here so basically uh there you go. I'll take your higher number. Uh, you succeed, and you make it a bit frightened. Heck yeah. And then, my final action, I will flurry of blows for it making me, allowing me to All do right, let's an arm strike for two actions. Come on, let's go. Let's go, baby. I believe. That's a crit. That's a crit, baby. Oh, well, crit damage. Uh, heck yeah. Uh, my damage is 22, however, it could be more, uh, as I also <laughs> have a secondary attack against it, which is a tool. Sorry, uh, uh, it could have been more, but uh, Hark just flies into this, uh, light eight, and with his lariat, he does a second turn, since it's a critical hit. Uh, he does a second turn, he, and he becomes a little bit of a mixer uh, for the meat of these worms. You are pulverizing this thing with all of your attacks. You just see, like, there's a lot less worms around. Heck yeah. You love them to smash the sewer. Some of the corp worm corpses are floating down the stream. Beetle, you're hearing behind you going, Give it to me. Give me your best mind. I need it. You're not taking it from me. And my son will die. I will get my revenge. Does it, it has it, it, so is it still? Coming after you, it seems like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you made it mad. Okay, <laughs> I'm, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a turn to pull out my Giselle and, uh, <laughs> I 
I don't have a clear line of sight on it at the moment. So I'll just use a turn to pull up the jail and then I guess I can- What you can do is that you can set a condition. If you want to stay where you're at, or you want to like, kind of like aliens movie in the in the vents yeah. get a gun pointing down going if it gets there i'm gonna shoot ya. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah exactly know? exactly so yeah. i they'll take two yeah. actions to do and you're basically setting up like I, i'm preparing this action and then yes. whenever it comes around in your side you can go ah, kablam and then yeah. shoot at it yeah that's that's what i'm doing awesome okay so you're gonna get that ready uh now it's gonna be flame's turn all right um uh, Talim will pull a coin out of his pouch and extend an arm forward and uh, he'll look at Hard and be like, he's like, Hard, get down! And I will spend two actions uh, to have uh, basic electricity crack along, along Talim's arm and fire that coin off like a railgun by a uh, magnetic acceleration uh, targeted at the uh the big squishy monster all right let's and see and so i need to first off do a range attack roll and that is a 24 in total you hit it and the damage of it is uh 17. your thing goes Shh! and it smashes into it it tries to pierce through it there and you see a good chunk of some of the damage kind of goes through, uh, but some of the other bit of it just doesn't seem to be doing so hot with it. Um, but you do damage it for five points of damage. Tons of worms <laughs> just kind of just kind of fly off where you just see the just pierces right through it. And uh, I, as my last action, I will uh, move up. <laughs> behind heart and that is the end of my turn now at its turn it tries to basically what it will do try to move up and try to follow beetle and gets to hear beetle you can target oh. it and shoot at it now yeah <laughs> boy that's so big mamba jababa okay <laughs> would you count this as a part of their investigation soren Yep. Then you don't need to do an action to discombobulate. You get to do it for free. Oh yeah, yeah. I div <laughs> I okay. I actually, I'm devising a strategy. I'm taking aim. I'm block his forward jab. Jup -jup -jup -jup. You I shoot it. The bullet. You hit it. Yeah, the the bullet will hit. So I'm going to shoot. That is twelve pointies of damage. You notice it takes no damage. But oh no! What it does is it rises and it screams and it needs to make a It basically roils from you, Froggy, or Beetle rather, <laughs> and it goes and it basically you see that there's like little bits of the pipe that aren't fully complete. It takes all of the worm and it hears pow! Like the large sound, you are in an enclosed space. Yeah. Everything, it is loud. And this yeah, thing, just awful. all the worms convulse or so. And you see it just all just squeeze into, for the rest of its move, or, or pretty much for its uh, rest of its move, it just, just squeezes away from oh. you and just, just swarps into the wall. <gasps> And what you see kind of left behind is a soggy cigar oh, right inside disgusting. the sewer pipe. It went Whoa. into the wall! Hurry! Run! Hurry over here! And uh, if if I can, Beetle's gonna shoot again, but like just until people get past him and like are, are on their way. Like he wants to make sure it doesn't come out of the wall while they're coming. It has, uh, did you like just shoot in the ceiling? Yeah, if he could like just shoot in the fucking the little crevasse that he corped into, if he could just like <laughs> shove the barrel of his gun down there and just I'm fucking a, shoot. I'm gonna <laughs> spin a villain point. Um, okay. you shoot into the ceiling and you just make a hall and water starts pouring on your head.
Did you defeat it? No, it's it. right up there. <laughs> Leave it to Zorin to be a wet blanket. Oh my god. Oh! Beetle is ushering them with urgency to keep going. Hard follow Beetle. <laughs> we try okay. and get through the, back to the pipes. Yeah. So with that, you guys begin to head your way down the pipes. Find your way out. Fuck. You guys remember oh. you came oh, through, you, right? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Feel free to move your tokens. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, remember, I remember. You guys remember you came out, right? I yeah. remember you came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, you come down yeah, here. Yeah. Come here and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> as you guys continue on your way out, as uh, you know, left or right? Yeah, left or right. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you find your way out of of the tube network. Tubes. Tubes. They Tubes. weren't they weren't Tubes. tied up. You're able to get out just fine. And oh, God. as you come out, um, you see Brug on his way back up to meet with you all, saying, uh, and you see he seems frazzled and worried, and he's like, I, I, I couldn't find her anywhere. No one's, no one's seen her. No, there's no sign of her anywhere. Did, did, did you find her? Gray's gonna root around in her in her hood where she, she knows she put the cat. <laughs> she knows it's there. She's gonna just... Yoink! Cat. Like... <gasps> and you see he starts crying, and he rushes up and grabs the cat from you. Uh, he goes, oh, Thalia! And he just takes her, you know, nuzzle her and everything else, hold her, and the yeah. cat is happily meowing. You know, just go, meow, 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 you know, does all of that and everything else. And she says, thank you, thank you so much for helping. Beetle collapses onto his side, catching his breath. <laughs> just there like, 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 like rapid hyperventilating. <laughs> there was a monster in there that had her. It's a, wor it's a bunch of worms. It's a bunch of worms. A swarm of worms that were in the shape of a, a croc folk. Croc folk? Like, well, I. Talk about it, son. And when it was a bunch of worms. Rog tries to rub his chin or so. I was like, well, I like I don't know much about that. I mean, there's croc folk all around the ponds for Laster here and there. It wasn't Croc's gang croc. It was just uh We we you should block this pipe. You should put stones up in front of it. Maybe leave a little no, I... not a tiny hole. Oh, you gotta block this pipe. I'm going to be honest, Brug. I don't think you and your family are safe here. And I have another question. It's about Talia's collar. He nods. Like he, he's waiting for you to ask a question. No, okay. Um, it seemed unusually interested in the stone around her neck. Do you know if it is anything special? He he looks down at it and he's like, well, I I wish I gave it to her. That's a way to protect her. She used to wear it when she used to go delving, but whenever she gave it to her, it was the day when she died. But if it's going to bring more danger to her and if things like that are going to be that attracted to it, I don't think I need it anymore. Are you sure? He nods and says like, I've never been a fan of magic, no offense, but anything that gets magically involved, usually there's trouble and I want me and my daughter far from it. Flame kind of solemnly nods. It's like, we can hold on to it. In that, in worst case, it comes after us. Best case, we can find out why it wants it. And if we can take care of it, we can return it to you. He nods and uh, he will unclasp the collar from it. And uh, he'll, hand, he'll hand it over to the group. 
And uh, he was like, I don't know what it does, but it will, uh, I think it'll serve you better. Allow me to, now I'm going to grab my things and let me try to ask if Alma's have a spare room for me until I can find a better place. Yeah, and, uh, and, hey, that, that whistle that, uh, Beetle awkwardly like toes through the disgusting sewer water. Duck walks through it. <laughs> Here, you could you could give her this in the meantime, and that whistle you could you could put in there. And he takes the geode necklace out and holds it up to him. It opens up. It's got a little finger shaped jewel inside. He'll he'll nod. What he'll do is that he'll replace the the gem on the collar and hand it to you guys and put the geode on the uh, collar yeah. instead. And uh, he goes like, thank you. Yeah. I'm so glad she's safe. That's so cute. Yeah. Oh my. And a parent should never experience losing a child. Yeah, we got you, bud. He'll, uh, he'll nod and go like, all right, I'll, uh, I'll meet you at the parade. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on things. And so let me, let me get her safe first. And I'll meet you there. Yeah. Do what you have to. He'll nod. He'll nod and he'll head back into his home, you know, uh, taking care of her. And he's like, let's get you some food. I bet you're hungry. And go, meow. <laughs> In response. And he will go and take care of her. Is that any last words, fellas? Beetle collapses again. <laughs> Mark picks up Beetle. Uh, we'll Leem see you at the parade. Be safe. Holds on to the jewel and he just kind of looks at it, is examining it. Like to and inspect it? Identify it? Sure. Yeah. Probably our chronic check. Or if anybody else has occultism. No, I do not. <laughs> Mm, I can occultism. roll occultism. I don't have it trained, but I have the funny feet that lets me do it anyway. Never mind. Oh Never mind. That's, <laughs> God, that's, funny. that's a nat 20. Yes, it is. <laughs> what you do to Liam is that as you're investigating it, um, the first thing you'll know is that, or first thing that'll happen to you, and is anybody else looking at it? Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. we're getting a look-see. Okay. Everybody who's looking at SLM, you're, you're, just, you're doing magical stuff to try to figure out what it is. You you all just whoosh, like flash of memory and and like experiencing from someone else's uh, POV. Seeing someone with feline features, fairly someone tall, like leaping to and fro uh, in a cave system. You're seeing like an underground city of stuff with large, large stalactites and stalagmites and such kind of just all in this big underground area with an old city as this person is going to and fro from rooftops and cavern ways and maneuvering her way throughout stuff. A torch, even though it's lighting over, she looks back and sees a large, like a large orc person just kind of punch through a wall for her and everything else. Like just as if someone is delving. But of course, things flash again. Did you see combat of like these uh, horrific kind of like viscous creatures? Boom, it flashes again. It's someone adventuring and it's someone delving. And you only and you can surmise from the feline features of the person, like their hands and everything else, that it is Brug's now, unfortunately, deceased wife. And you also see her death. That there is a large sort of scaly like creature oozing this black viscous uh with a long tail with a kind of bladed thing at the end of it and it has kind of like a wyvern like wings thing but all the webbing has been shredded and it's turned into like this kind of claw mantis like kind of structure deal and you see that it that it pierces through her you all kind of feel it a little bit it's not real but uh, you know a little bit as if you were there and then whoosh, you're out as soon as she activates that thing and it allows and you feel like kind of like a surge of something within you and allows her to cast one little bit of magic and fortunately it didn't last enough last long enough you see her memories of her climb her way back handing it back to the orc as the orc tries to say no but then eventually runs away and the creature tries to pursue but isn't able to fit through a passageway 
And so if you, Talim, you know that this is a gem of refocusing. You spend a reaction to gain back one focus point once per day. Huh. Gray is very quiet. Lane kind of sits there and he looks at the gym, uh, like uh, being held in place by the mage hand. And he kind of cups it between two hands and it's, uh, uh, he looks up at the rest of the party and it's, uh, just kind of looks from each one of them and he looks back down at it and he's, uh, he kind of nods and it's like, she died how she lived. It's. But she still has a legacy. We will do right by Brug by keeping this safe. Yeah. Yeah. Wonder what was up with those. I really think we should seal this pipe off. I I think the best is to make sure that uh, Brug and his family are safe. And should that thing continue to come for this, we'll make sure it never comes for it again. And worms. Do all of that? Not normal was, ones. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff happening in there. Ugh, it was screaming. Let's go get ready for the parade. Yeah, I, I, I'm tired. <laughs> I want to go away from here. Who gets the stone? We I'll might, take it. Suppose. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, he'll, uh, Talim will uh, hand it over to, uh, hand it over to Gray. She'll, uh, add it to her, uh, necklace that has, like, it's, it's a necklace that's got teeth and, like, bones on it and stuff. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll get it all stat blocked and everything for you. Everything okay. for the next thing. And, uh, and with that, you guys level up. You're now level six. <gasps> oh, my God. Bizarre. You all level, level up. level six now. You all level six Ooh. now. And that is where we're going to end it today. Uh. <laughs> Normally, you're supposed to be like a yippee, but now it's like, <laughs> finally. It's like, oh, I'm tired. Pie. I, I was, I had all these like pre-planned things that I was going to do for the parade. I was like, oh, it's going to be a fun, happy parade episode. Oh, my heart, my adrenaline. <laughs> I can't this play. is the this is I, the third time Talim has Talim has had to experience death from a first person perspective. Yeah. <laughs> this I can't, can't believe, keep happening. I can't believe Salty got so into the character of like getting lost that that her internet uh, no sorry her whole power went out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm lost in the <laughs> tubes. It's so immersive. <laughs> yeah. It, it was such a awesome move on my part, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. good yeah, bit, yeah, streamer. Yeah. Good bit. Yeah, yeah. Good bit. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Chat, I hope you had a good time. Players, I hope you had a good time. Remember the follow Always. follow everybody one more time as we go around the horn. Please plug yourselves starting off with Minerva. Hi, I'm Minerva, K Party Demon S. Come hang out with me. I'm a big problem. You can be a problem too. Next up we have Cabal. <laughs> I am Cabal. I'm your favorite <laughs> frightening caffeinated cult leader, hooded horror host here on Twitch. Uh, you can come check me out anytime uh, Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So we have Froggy Log. Hello, I'm Froggy Log. I'm a professional artist and a live TV rigger and I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch, but you can find me on all other sorts of social media platforms under the same handle. Thank you. Next time we have Salty it. Job. I'm Salty Job. I do funny art, support Cabin Soar, and that automatically supports me. <laughs> And of course, it's I've true. been your host and Game Master Zone the Bear. Thank you all so very much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Please take see care. See you all next time for an exciting episode I'm, of Rat Runes. Have a great rest of your weekend. Stay safe. Yeah. Or whatever day it is. Don't get whatever lost in the tubes. <laughs> Don't get lost in the tubes. So long. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.